Well, with an introduction like that, we're back with a bang. The international break is over. The Premier League has really come back with a bang. You've seen a bunch of entertaining games. Liverpool on paper right now have turned it around against Brighton. We also, unfortunately, Tottenham Hotshite, you know, turning it around against Luton. Manchester United thought they did a robbery against Brentford and then the bees stung them. And now, saving the best till last, you've got Manchester City against Arsenal. A potential title clash, a potential title decider. Now, I say that because I don't know about you lot, but I don't look at the league table, have not looked at the league table, don't know what Arsenal are doing in that regard. That being said, the last 12, well, the last 13 games, Manchester City have won 12 of those. You know, you look at the last away games to the Etihad, it hasn't been nice. You know, last year was not nice. Now, we've been living a dream as an Arsenal fan. We're doing it without a recognised striker, but we're quote-unquote fighting for a league title. We beat these boys at our place and Wembley. We beat Liverpool. We haven't done the double over Manchester City since 08, 07. 708, apologies. Hopefully we can do that now. Now, Pep Guardiola, mind games. You know, don't know at this moment for John Stones, but he's doing mind games with the fitness. He does mind games with how we've been playing. He's doing mind games in the sense of he has said to the public that he believes that if they don't win today, then they're out of the league. So he's geeing them up and rallying the troops. So it's not going to be easy. We're going to suffer at moments. You know, again, Manchester City have had our number for a while. But since Mikel Arteta has taken over personally, while fundamentally they've been winning games and we need to turn that around, they've been closer. And that's what I believe is going to be the thing. I think we're our away form, how we've been doing generally this, this, since the years turned, um, our away form, how we've been doing, you know, Mikel Arteta's tactics, the players' mentality improving. I've got confidence that we can give a good performance. Whether we can get over the line is another thing. I'm confident in that regards, but it's Pep Guardiola and they've got Rodri and Kevin De Bruyne back now. I'm not scared of them per se. They're quality players, but it's Man City. They should have quality players. Um, but they didn't have them. And I think Rodri is one thing. And Rodri, I think Rodri in terms of progressing passes for City is underrated. But that man, Kevin De Bruyne, as much as Haaland's been dealt with by Gabriel and Saliba, um, anytime he's played them, really, I did think at the Emirates they missed them. Spoiler alert, you know, big up Mikel Arteta. He definitely watches the show. Hey, told man Gabriel Jesus you need him. Today he's going to stand up to be counted. And even on that, going into the game, people, um, as usual, I've got no manners, man. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and of course, good night. I'm, whole, I'm happy you lot are all back here. Big up the Twitch gang. If you're on YouTube, smash the like button. But I'm interested to Akanji at right back. What does that mean for, you know, him against Gabriel Jesus in itself? But also, what does that mean for the midfielder in front of him? Bernardo Silva, who is, you know, plays in the pockets, almost a wide playmaker. The same with Phil Foden on the left-hand side against, um, well, it would be against Benjamin White on our right. Obviously, them two have had their little bus up in the last game. But what is that going to mean? There's a lot of question points. If I know one thing, you know, Guardi, I think he's a good player, but he struggled for City by, you know, their standards. Regardless of the result game, ask questions, Saka, ask questions because, you know, Saka's the big bad bully, real star boy compared to any peasant that does well in the Premier League. Certain man score penalties and Saka starts trending. We know how it gets, but arguably when we beat City at the Emirates, that was our result of the season. But Kyle, through no fault of your own, you weren't there, you know. It was Eddie and Ketia and Gabriel Jesus. It was a trenches game. And I, even that, people, you know, on paper, Manchester City versus Arsenal, Mikel Arteta against Pep Guardiola, Spanish magicians that see football in, in the next realm. It sounds exciting and it, it is exciting. There's great players out there. But because they kind of cancel each other out, and there's obviously been moments, you could argue... They've cancelled each other out, really. It's been boring. Like, the game at the Emirates, and I'm not criticising it because we get why, but it was boring. There was nothing really and truly to waffle about. So I am, I only say that to say this, really. I wonder what sort of game we can expect today, man. Appreciate you lot. Happy Easter as well. Shut down Roger and we'll win. Even that's a talking point. That's where, for me, and I mean, all of us Arsenal fans, if, if you said in August, even the ones that myself that was 
willing to give Havertz grace, a must-win game of sorts. Havertz up front will be looking like Ra, so testament to him and the club. But Havertz is needed today because Havertz, he, he's never going to be a consistent goal scorer, big up his form. But when he drops into midfield, I want to see him. Well, he's obviously going to line up with Odegaard when they're going to press the defenders. But I wonder if Arteta said, you know what, Odegaard or Havertz, you lot man Mark Rodri out the game. And it'd be interesting when, because of the way both teams kind of set up man for man, I think because of our high line, there's evident issues. I actually think City have looked a bit vulnerable on the counter-attack this season. So there's reasons to be optimistic. Ortega's a good goalie. And if we could get someone like that as our number two for next year, that would be great. Um, but get him. He's not in the starting lineup typically for City for a reason, respectfully, with him. Guardiola, get him. You know, covet it, boy, referee. I'm not going to lie to you, referee. This man should have been given a red card at the Emirates. I need to see referees doing their jobs because how did he get away with that challenge on Declan Rice and Odegaard? It was quite crazy. It's going to be an interesting game, but this is where we wanted to be, Arsenal fans. We wanted to be in this realm fighting against the best in the country and the best in the world in which Pep and his players are. Um, I want to personally get over the line now and evidently ending our poor form at, at, at their place and getting into a, a scenario one day as Arsenal fans where respectfully to City or Liverpool, when we win, we're not necessarily shocked. It's wartime, man. The time for talking's done. I mean, you can't change the fixture calendar list, but it would have been lovely. Oh, I don't know this because it could have went left, really. But... um. It would have been nice to get this game done before the international break, really. And I think, again, the best case scenario is Arsenal get three points. If we get three points, of course, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be gassed and all of these things. But I think we should relax. If, even if we win, if we are to win the title, I think we need to relax. There'll be nine other games. And it means nothing if you go and mess about against Luton, against Spurs, against Villa, against Chelsea, against United, etc., etc. And if we lose, obviously, it makes the task harder. It, we're back in that scenario where it's out of your hands, in which, to a degree, allegedly, Arsenal were top of the table. But some of you tell me we was top of the table on goal difference. So how much was it in our hands? But we're at that scenario. We win our games. So, all right, I think there's going to be bumps and bruises. And you look at Manchester City's home form, people, it's immaculate, really. You know, Manchester City are unbeaten in their last 38 home games in all comps since they lost 2-1 against Brentford in November 2022. That's crazy. It's their second longest run without defeat at home in their history, which is crazy. The last time they did that was 1919 uh, to 1921. And obviously, none of us were about then. Arsenal, obviously, we've won our last eight Premier League games, scoring 33 goals and conceding just four. So this should give us a bit of confidence. Hey, Zeus, left wing is going to make or break this game. Nah, man, it sounds cliche, but I think it's a, uh, I think it's a, uh, it, it can make it can make or break it in terms of moments. But it goes back to what I was saying with Akanji and Bernardo Silva and Foden. Obviously, with Gua with 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 Guardiola, there's some interesting matches out wide and. Again, Kanji, Jesus, we're going to need you to fight. But also, where you look at Kirill, Kirill's done his thing. But Arteta's had to tweak the system and make Benjamin White invert a bit more and make Kirill a bit more of a traditional left-back. And even when you look at the Porto game where uh, Kirill did very well, if you go and watch that first half, defend, in some defensive phases, Trossard, who was playing left wing at the time, he was tucking in like a left back and allowing Kirill to become a third centre half. Now, I'm not criticising Kirill because managers should find systems that obviously hide weaknesses of players and enhances the strengths. And that's something Kirill's got to improve at. But I'm only saying that because Gabriel Jesus has got to put a shift in defensively. Both teams can be aggressive. Both teams can make you suffer. Of course, on the topic of suffering, of course, you know, when we beat them at the Emirates, you know, De David Rye didn't have the best of starts. I'm so sure Declan Rice cleared the effort off the line. And again, subs, you know, you go back to the game at the Emirates. Was it not Tom Thomas Partey's ball into Tommy Asu? Tommy Asu knocked it onto Havertz. Martinelli, you know, gambled and I'm going to say he meant the finish, but a bit of a deflection and it was happy days, man. Next five games, City away, Luton home, away to... Sorry, let me see that again. Next five games, City away, Luton home, away Brighton, OK, home to Bayern, home to Villa, all games be hard. And this is this is the time. And we're getting into that scenario now where I know many people, rightly so, would sit there and say, mate, you know, I don't know for Martinelli, but Trossard this and blah, blah, blah. Arteta is going to have to start being cute and clever with his squad now. You know, there's a lot of games left on paper. We've only got 12 games because we're about to obviously play City. We've got the so on paper, we've got 10 games left and we've got the two against Munich. He's going to have to be cute and clever with rotation. I think if Martinelli was fit today, he probably starts, but evidently he's, he's not fit enough to start the game. He's actually on the bench. You've got Ramsdale, Tommy Asu, Zinchenko, Thomas Partey, Fabio Vieira, Emil Smith Rowe, Trossard, Martinelli, and then Ketia. One of our best benches at some point this season, isn't it? Really, it's a good, good little bench. We don't say that all the time. 
And to be fair, even Enketia had a good game last time. I'm not saying to start him. I'm just saying this is a squad one. I'm happy with Jorginho playing. I do understand fans that might want to see Partey and things like that. But I think it just comes down to fitness. And obviously, Jorginho's doing his thing. And these are the kind of games, the chess matches, the high intelligence kind of games is where you're relied upon. Obviously, Tommy Asu and Zinchenko aren't necessarily fit. But you have to big up Kirill because... I think personally, on top of the collective form and what he's been doing, you're the first name on the team sheet in that position. And, you know, I'm sure Arteta might have been considering what he could do with Tommy Asu, what he could do with Zinchenko, but Kirill deserves that. And for both teams, the benches are going to be important today. Like, the benches are going to be really, really important. Thomas Part is going to be important. I'd imagine Tommy Asu is going to come on at some point. We'd love to see Martinelli and Smith roll. And shout out everybody, man. Big up the St. Lucians, man. Appreciate you. Big up DG. Not sure about Kirill playing and not Tommy. Tommy's not fit and, you know, obviously... I wouldn't, Kirill would not be my first choice generally going into the City game, but all of the factors considered, he deserves to play and he's evidently a lot fitter than these individuals. Hopefully he stands up to be counted, man. Like if you're, if you're, if you have ambitions to be a good defender in my, in my opinion, then you want to see how you perform against the best attackers, which City possess. And likewise with the attackers and the defenders, this is what we wanted to be in as a football club, competing against big teams, an element of belief. Get on with it, man. Because it's you know, just the other day we was back to back eighth. This is definitely better problems. Would you take Kudus? A hundred percent, man. There's a couple players I would take off West Ham. I mean, if Arteta's got any plans to revisit them, why not? Kudus needs to be at the Emirates. Bowen would be amazing in this Mikel Arteta system, I believe. Paqueta, not gonna lie, I do, man. The recruitment's been good, but Bruno Gomares and Paqueta, every time I watch both of them, like in the crazy Newcastle West Ham game yesterday, it's like they could have both, or maybe I'm being greedy, one of them been at the Emirates. So, yeah, West Ham have a couple of players. I think literally only them, if I'm honest. They got anyone else? I said I said Paqueta, Bowen, Kudus, Antonio, Jamaican slander. I mean, propaganda. But, um, nah, it is what it is, man. Yo, DG, in some ways, I do worry about Jorginho today. Arteta and Pep would have done their research extensively when they were going to sign him for City. Of course. But nothing's new under the sun, man. Sometimes what you want your strengths to be as a football team, like high pressing, high intensity, a weakness of that and a byproduct of that, you know there's space in behind. So it is what it is, man. Like, it really is what it is. You know, again, it's it's one of them ones. If Jorginho doesn't play well, we might say, why did you play Partey? If he plays well, that's why Thomas Partey didn't play. You're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. I do think the team's picked itself, really. I think everybody deserves to start. I haven't really got any complaints. Naturally, the only talking points I would somewhat entertain would be Thomas Partey um, in instead of Jorginho. Kirio, obviously, maybe for Tommy Asu. Martinelli, if he's not fit, he's not fit, but he potentially could start. I think I'm happy with the front three. So, yeah. I mean, some Spurs fan I would be if I had my, my channel, this did the name it is now, man, but fair play. If you haven't smashed the like button, you know what to do, folks. Again, half an hour until kickoff. One second. What's, why is YouTube saying this? That's weird. Just a second, folks. Don't know why my title's up. It's just meant to say Manchester City versus Arsenal. Live watch along still, but okay. No one cared to update me to that. It's all good though, man. It's all good. Can we get to 100 likes before the end of the stream? Part A isn't on it this year. Hasn't been fit, really. As I said, big him up for the City game at the Emirates, but generally, Thomas party has been well, not even a passenger. You've been a forgotten man because you're not available, really. Quality player, but if you're not involved, you're not involved. The one thing, though, I would say with Thomas Partey, and as I said, I like the guy, I do think for such a quality player and an experienced player, I think you drop your head. Like Maybe not so much now in the last two years, but there's been times, even at City last season, and I'm not singling him out or anything, there's times I see him drop his head and it's, 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 it, I should be seeing if anything, Saka, not obviously Saka's young, but I should be seeing Saka and the, the kind of new kids on the block in terms of what we're trying to do. Not an experienced £45 million pound man. I don't think Jorginho does that. I don't think Declan Rice does that. Um, so, yeah, man. Partey should go, go Saudi. It's a weird one with Thomas Partey, man, because I... In an, in an ideal world, he wouldn't be someone I'd be talking about entertaining, moving on from a footballing sense. Um... <laughs> But with the wages, with his un unreliability, really, with injury, I could understand wanting to move him on and, and find other solutions in that area. But yeah, he hasn't been on it because he ain't been about, really. And 
as I, as I keep saying, you know, I, tell, I don't know why it, the comments stuck, stick with me or stuck with me. But when he said we've got one of the Finnish squads, I just can't erase that. And he's right. Like, And to be honest with you, where you look at the core players, like regardless what you believe with them, who's really durable? You know, Benjamin White's going to be there. You know, nine times out of 10, Saliba is going to be there. Gabriel's going to be there. I would have said Gabriel Jesus, but since he's joined Arsenal, he's not one. Um Obviously, Odegaard out nine times out of ten is there. Martinelli as well, typically. But then you look at Gabriel Jesus picks up knocks. Inchenko gets injuries a lot. Tommy Asu the same. Smith Rowe can't stay fit. Uh, Jorginho even misses a one week, a two week, and all of these kind of things. So, like when you're saying this around six, seven players, is that something that we could potentially address? I'm not sure. Big game, big game, big day. I need some likes. People going to be a big stream. Stylish, appreciate you, and hopefully it is. Would you swap Kovacic for Partey? Yes and no. I'd rather just sell party. But I, I again, I gave Havertz his grace and things. But in the summer, I did say, you know, if we was going to buy anyone from Chelsea, I would have preferred to sign Matteo Kovacic. Obviously, Arteta had different plans and they're different players because I felt he, he fitted our system. But yeah, I wouldn't get rid. Partey has a mercenary mentality, not a team player. A bit harsh to say he's not a team player. I don't know about that. And we don't know the guy from nowhere to be drawing assumptions like that. Biggest game of the season. Come on, you Gunners. Why is it the biggest game? Do you know what? I'm going to let my heart talk. I'm going to say 2-1 Arsenal. I think it'll be 2-2, you know. I think it's going to be one of them games. And I'll be keen to see how we react in all assets when we concede the first goal, when we score the first goal, the first 10 minutes, the last 10. Uh, naturally, I always watch out for Arsenal even more the last 10, 15 before the end of the first half. Because it's not good enough to start a game well and play. You need to play well for the majority of the game. And again, I want to see how we live those dangerous moments in the game. I know when we're on it, regardless what people say about this football club and we ain't won trophies and all of this crap, people know when Arsenal turn it on, we can stress out a lot of football teams, even games we've lost. We, you know, the gaffer's shown he's got all these tactics. The players are a problem, but there's going to be times we're going to have to suffer. We're going to be living dangerously. We're playing out from the back. We're getting caught. You know, we might need, hopefully not, because you never want to see your keeper involved. But Raya might have to do something. And again, I don't want to see my keeper ever called into action. But in an ideal world, we win 2-1 for me. Well, ideal world be a clean sheet. But in an ideal world, we win 2-1. And I would say everyone plays well. And Raya has a couple of moments where, he, you know, I don't know, Kevin De Bruyne, it looks nailed on that he's going in, he's tipped it over the bar. I do think... Raya, for some fans, needs that really and truly. Like, I, I, I do think he does. I think he, Raya needs some highlights, if I'm honest. I, I do think that, you know, the passing, all that stuff is there. And I think most people can see, even if you don't rate Raya and think he's an upgrade necessarily on Ramsdale, why he's been signed for the football club. Our last 15 of the first half is usually our worst part of the game. Would it swap Kovacic for part A? Would swap maybe Zuba Mendy or someone who's a tad younger, Jorginho Regen, based on what we've been linked, seems to be the case. Appreciate that. Then the first 10, 15 minutes of the second half. Going to have to see buying matches a bigger game. They're all big games, man. You're all big games. They're all big games. You know, we're back in the Champions League and it's Bayern Munich. That's a massive game against a massive team. You can never play that down. Manchester City, the same. But you could argue there's more of a realistic chance of Arsenal if we are top of the table and are in this title race, which I don't look at the information to know. This is the bigger game. Like, but they're all big games. 12 cup, as, as cliche as it sounds, like, genuinely, people, I think there's 12 cup finals. Like, end of the day, it's in our hands. If and again, I don't I don't think we're gonna win all the games, would love to, but I just don't think that's how the cookie's gonna crumble, as beautiful as it would be. Smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Bro, if you do what you need to do today against City, when you play Spurs, when you play Chelsea, when you play Villa, what you do against Luton, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you're lifting it. And to be honest with you, that's I'm not saying Arsenal are the biggest and baddest in the world and we're the best, but one thing I do like about our team generally is I think we're really outplayed in a sense of when we've dropped points this season. And, and again, we have been outplayed. I only think there's been two times I've been really peed off with our performance. That would be um, when we went out to West Ham in the League Cup and definitely Fulham away. Other than that, we've shot ourselves in the foot, really. We shot ourselves in the foot um, at Anfield again. It's different, differently, but yeah, we definitely did that in the FA Cup. When we drew against Chelsea and Spurs, it, you, to be fair, Chelsea first 45 minutes, they were on it and we were living dangerously. Jorginho and Zinchenko had to go. Them kind of games are not for Jorginho where it's open, a bit like the Spurs game uh, where Declan Rice came off. But generally, the bigger games against the traditional top six, we, we've got it done. Like We've handled the business. And actually, as crazy as City are, their form, based on what City have been under Pep and what they're doing now, 
them against the top six in this league has been kind of crap by their own their own mobility. But that just says everything about City. Like you losing the battles in that. I think they've only beaten Man United, but they're winning the war. It, it, apart from like Liverpool and Arsenal, they're the only ones that could say quote unquote they're, they're saying anything to them this year. Joseph allow it, but I appreciate that man. <laughs> but if we end up third in the EPL and eliminated by Bayern, would this still be considered a successful season? Define success. Because you could measure it in terms of achievements and stuff like that, but you could also measure success in how in how far you've come. Now, would you argue if the you know, let's just say that happened now when the last day of the season in May or whatever, you know, at that point of 2024, would you say Arsenal are a dramatically better team or have made improvements from a year uh, in in the past from that date? You would probably say yes. So success is a difficult one. Success is getting up every day and just trying to improve, really. I right, Arsenal, shout me. See, the PR is crazy. Um, away from the foolishness. Oh, it's a techie one, bro. It's uh, yes and no for me. I know I always give these answers, but yes and no, I would say there's been some progress. There's been some progression. There's been some things I've liked Arteta that in terms of mistakes he's learned from and the players, and we're moving in the right direction. In terms of if you know, something etched in history, you know, for, for all the talk about how much we've improved and all of this, there'd be no no wonders really, in it? And I do think we're slowly but surely getting into that territory where we've done the rebuild to a degree. We know it's a never-ending process, but get things over the line. I think there's no shame in going to, in finishing first. Well, there's definitely no shame in finishing first or second or third, but unless it's first, there's no difference, really and truly, in it, really. Yeah, you could sit there and say, "Oh, you finished third and did and that," but there's some circumstances, you know. Again, maybe the tight table might even look a lot better if Liverpool. What was it? I think it was against Spurs. The Diaz goal disallowed, but second and third, there's no difference for me. It's, it's all the context and the manner in in how that would that potential collapse would happen for me. There'd be natural question marks. Okay, we've done this. These are what we've done. Good. Let's make that great. Where's the evident? Sorry, where's the evident areas of improvement that if we improve? can ensure we get over the line. I hope it could happen this year because, you know, when we bottled top four, we came back stronger than last year and, well, and we're in the title challenge and because of that, people forgot where we were trying to get to, learn our lessons. Hopefully, you know, that was a good sort of indicator. So, I hope so, man, but it's easier said than done. It's difficult, man. It's it's a shame. It's, it's, it's a shame that Pep Guardiola is in this league. From a neutral point of view, fantastic manager, not just in the Prem, but what he's done, revolutionised the game. Indirectly, I have to thank him to a degree for Arteta because Arteta learned some other stuff and came over here. But if you're not a City fan, it's bad news, isn't it? Really and truly, we've seen 100 points. We've seen them bully everyone with no striker and sign Harlan and all of these kind of things, really. And then you've got Klopp, which... As much as I admire Klopp, and I do think Liverpool's Klopp indirectly on top of everything pushed Pep and City to want to be better, but hardly won won a couple battles, didn't win the war really. Like it weren't like, and I'm not dissing Klopp, but it's not like what Sky Sports make it out. Like one year is Pep, then it's Klopp. Like Pep won it nine times out of ten, really. Not to diss it, because I would like to pick up a Premier League champs competing with Pep, but we need to get over the line now. And again, if it does go left for us then obviously I'm going to look at the last 10 games, that how it's panned out. And I know you can't win every game, but I would look to the two games against Fulham. Chelsea away on paper right now. Spurs at home as well, if I'm completely honest with you. And that's going to happen. Sometimes you're going to play well and not and not win, which to a degree was the case against West Ham at the Emirates. You obviously will paint towards how the year ended last year. And I do like the grit and the fight and the determination. Like, we suffered against City at periods and we got it done. You know, we started very well against Liverpool. You know, we lost to Newcastle, but we showed that we're not going to be bullied in your in your place. You know, Luton and Brentford games, they we just had to get it done, really. In fact, even Brentford away as well, we just had to get it done. And across a 38-game calendar, winning a Premier League title, there's not going to be too many times that you've played amazing. It's just about getting it done and... Sorry to trigger Arsenal fans, but I'm sure, you know, the year Van Persie went to Manchester United and they won the league, I, I haven't got it to hand. 
But I'm sure there were so many games United actually, I think it might have even been a record, so many games they came from behind. Now they've won the title, but this just shows you it's not always about how good you are at your best. It's about how good you are at your worst. And I do think we're finding some consistency in that regards. We're starting to get different options. Squad players are standing up to be counted. The good players are getting even better. You know, Odegaard, some would say Odegaard and Saka started the season kind of slow. Then they've come back and they're doing madness. Havertz is doing all right. Definitely looks a lot more clinical than when he was wearing that disgusting blue shirt. I want Jesus to prove a lot of people wrong. There's a lot of fellow content creators that are washing their hands with Gabriel Jesus. I understand the frustration around the injuries. It is baffling if we sit here and talk about why Gabriel Jesus can't score goals. I don't get it. I don't have anything to go off this, but I, gen I think you can get better in front of goal. You can learn to finish and stuff. But I personally think strikers are born like Harlem was born to score goals. Jesus was born to do the PK humble, jinky, jinky, Brazilian stuff. He weren't born to score goals. And Jesus, he makes the difficult look easy and the easy look difficult. But I'm at that point with Gabriel now. Let's just, All right, cool. If you score goals, that's a blessing. Let's find the next one and use your qualities. But I, I think some Arsenal fans are sleeping on Gabriel Jesus. He's a big player, especially if you want to be a team that's in scenarios that we find ourselves at this moment in time. Let me know your predictions, talking points, etc. Smash the like button. And Kay, you're bang on the money. Jesus is a better footballer than goal scorer. Summed up and articulated perfectly. Yeah, like, he can do all the other stuff. He just ain't got the goals. And it's games like this. And I, I still would want another winger, but... And you got to remember, Arteta's on multifunctional players and all of that. But Jesus could have a future predominantly really playing out wide and a rotationary option up front for Arsenal if we sign a new forward. It'd be interesting, man. Jesus will rise this Easter. Pause. We need, listen, stand up to be counted, man. I think we all follow Timber on Twitter or X now, better yet. And he's doing the, the, the Bible verses. We need every God or gods that you guys praise to. It's Ramadan and Easter. Come on, like a miracle has to happen today. Come on, boys. Please, man. It's actually demoralizing losing to City at their place all the time. Like, and to be honest, away from the title, I want to know that you lot are, are on ending these hoodoos. Like, again, as much as we're in a title, right? Race, et cetera, et cetera. But hey, we got right now, we're going to the Etihad where we don't travel well. Say what you want about Manchester United. We do not travel well to Old Trafford. Spurs the same. Now, for me, he's 28 years of age, 29. Well, you can say next month, you know, April's day, April 13th. I've seen my team win the league at the uh, at White Hart Lane and Old Trafford. And we had a decent, up until a certain point, we was actually decent at Old Trafford and things have changed. I need to know you lot can end this. And even last year, well, to be fair, Man United last year, we got done dirty, man. Zinchenko let us down against Anthony. Liverpool got people. They played really bad that day to let Anthony look like a player in it. Fair enough. And even talking of going back to the point about squad depth and needing a squad, Eddie Nketiah, he stood up to be counted this season against City. Last year, he did well against Romero. Even Ramsdale did his thing. He'll be leaving at the end of the season. Jorginho, Ramsdale, Cedric Partey, and how many are we getting back in? You never know, really and truly, because Gabriel could have left when he was on the bench. Partey looked like you could leave. I don't know, man. I would say nailed on to go. By default, Cedric, his contract's running down. I think if there's an offer that makes sense, Partey's cutting. Ramsdale, I think it's a thing where the club might say, you know, you know we're, we're going to spend a lot of money in the summer. We need to think of selling people. But if Ramsdale, for argument's sake, was happy to just be a number two, then I think, you know, Edu, with all his shopping list, he'll say, forget signing another keeper. Ramsdale, keep doing what you're doing. And I'm, I, I know you can't go, I'm going off topic, but I know you can't go off training videos and stuff, but I watched the Arsenal training videos on YouTube and you're seeing the build-up. There, there was a drill they did with Ramsdale and I think Tommy Asu scored dead. I was like, his distribution is improving. So it'd be a shame, but um, I would say nailed on to leave. It's, it's probably just Cedric, maybe El Nene because of the deals. You know, Ed, Eddie and Ketty and Nelson, Smith Rowe, Ramsdale, it probably all depends. There's a lot of moving parts, really. This game will be decided in midfield. We slip, we fail, facts. Hopefully, we stand up to be catching Jorginho goal today. I feel it. Unlikely goal scorer, but bring it on. I don't care how these boys do it. Who does it? Just do it and get it done, man. <sighs> Come on, Gabriel Jesus. 59 Arsenal appearances, 19 goals. I'm saying it like it's a wavy <laughs> record, but still. I think Jesus needs to get night boots as well, man. Get the R9 boots. Stop wearing the Adidas ones. Why are you wearing Preds? 
I'm not going to lie, the finishing training drills not really looking promising on Sky Sports with Jesus at this moment. But yeah, keep going, my friend. DG, look how far we've come. We're going toe to toe with City and challenging for the Prem. Keep going, man. Today is the right time to play City. City 3, Ars 3 1, Arsenal C. Okay. Just join stream. Big up, DG. Keeping the positive and deluded vibes. Going to predict 2 1 to Arsenal. Non deluded prediction is 3 1 to Man City. I'm going to I'm going with my heart, man. My brain says a draw. My heart says two on Arsenal. So that probably means we're gonna see three three. But you never know. This weekend in terms of football has been crazy. You know, you look at the Sheffield United game, you look at the Newcastle game, you look at the Man United game. Not necessarily in terms of the score, the, the result, but Brentford, Man United. Could the footballing gods just be putting things in the air? And this is, you know, they say save the best till last. Okay. City's defensive units are doing drills. Squad, yo, let's get at him, man. He's a good player, but I think he's having teething issues. Get him. AKD as a Kanji quality plays. Still refuse to believe that's the same Akanji that was at Borussia Dortmund. Hart says 1 0 Arsenal last minute winner. Brain says 3 1 City. Zero goal difference. FC fans don't know who to root for today. City is still their, is still their home ground. They're the league Champions League winners. Let's not forget. <laughs> We've got to have Hart's hat trick. 4-1. I mean, it would be lovely for Kai to get a hat-trick. Gabriel Jesus, there's some, you know, you've been here before. This is your old team. These are the moments we need you. I know Martinelli's clearly not fit. Well, maybe it's a tactical decision, but maybe Martinelli's not fit enough to start. You could argue Trossard should be the, the one to start ahead of Jesus. So there's a bit added in it for you. Havarts, you're a Champions League winner. Jorginho, you've been in these environments. Declan Rice, fair enough, you haven't challenged for a league title, but you've been in high-pressure moments where... West Ham have been fighting for their life to stay in the league and also you've won a European trophy. Saliba and Gabriel, I need you lot today. I'm not, every player needs to stand up to be counted, but Benjamin White, Saliba, Gabriel, you three in particular give me a lot of confidence. Declan Rice as well, because you lot are the grit of the team. Odegaard, Capitano, you know what to do. Come on, boys, please, man. Declan Rice, you've been ma massive for us in big games. You know, you came off against Spurs and then we threw it away. You saved the day against Chelsea. I'm forcing it, but West Ham want to think they're our rivals, so you scored a screamer in that game. Stood up to be counted, and a lot of these big winner against United was great in the game at City, at our place against City. He's everything we, well, with Arsenal, you never know, but he's everything we on paper imagined for 105 million and more. And I've seen a lot of interviews, Declan. You're my guy, but I've seen a lot of interviews, a lot of interviews in relation to this game, a lot of chatting. You can talk when you're wavy like you, but let's get it going, man. Let's get it going. Now, people, regardless of what happens today, yeah, can we just take a second and admire our football team? Like, we've actually got some good players. Some good players, respectfully to Mustafi, Holding, Socrates, Pablo Marie. Like, we've we've come a long way, man. <laughs> we've come a long way. We've come a long way. To see Gabriel Zaliba, Benjamin White, Declan Rice, Saka, Gabriel Jesus, Martin Wondergaard. Oh, man. Just happy to be here, folks. Just happy to be here. As long as we keep the crowd in, in brackets, all 10 of them quiet, that should determine how the game goes. Yes, I don't doubt you, but I've always found that funny, you know, especially when we look at, like, on paper, what would be the difficult games in England, like... No one, you don't. No one really wants to go to Newcastle away, especially if it's an evening fixture. Nobody wants to play in them kind of grounds. To Am Anfield, no one wants to go there. And I, I agree with you, but naturally, it's a fallacy to probably keep a crowd quiet. It's England; people are roaring, and it all depends on how we play. You look at Anfield; feels like so long ago, but last season when we started well, we was playing. They were, they were nervous. You know, then we gave them a moment to get encouragement with. And I'm not even necessarily talking about the Xhaka moment. We started doing dumb stuff defensively. But you're right, man. And, you know, Pep's doing what he typically always does in these kind of games. He G's up the troops. He says we need everyone at, at the game, et cetera, et cetera. So, pardon me. It's due to be decent. Kickoff is 11 minutes away. Last Easter, we played Liverpool away. Boy. And it was scary, man. 2-1 AFC, but best thing, if you can't win, don't lose. Exactly. Like, I don't want to sound defeative, but I'd take a point to live and, live and fight another day. To be fair, Liverpool fans probably hoping on that. <sighs> Not going to lie. But I wish a couple of our fixtures, everyone's got to play each other twice. It doesn't matter. But there's a number of our fixtures 
that I wish we had out of the way. I wish we, in particular, like, I wish we had City done. I wish the North London derby was done. I'm not going to lie. I wish Old Trafford was done. And it's a big, the games are coming thick and fast. Like what? We've got Luton in the weekend, or in midweek, sorry, Brighton away. I mean, some of you, I'm sure you would have been watching Liverpool versus Brighton. Good team. And you've got the then you've got the the the, the 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 Champions League, and again this is now the period where, to a degree, regardless of form, Arteta's got to be cute and clever with the changes. Like, to be fair, and to be to be honest, the strongest team needs to be going out there in all the games. But you could make a case of, regardless of how this game ends, people, there has to be some sort of changes for Luton. Is that a chance to give maybe Gabriel Jesus another start, but? Give Martinelli his first kind of start away from his injury. Would you bring a Fabio Vieira, Zinchenko, Tommy Asu, Thomas? A couple of them, not all of them, of course. Otega in goal, fire at will. He's a good keeper, in my opinion. By the end of the day, I'm being harsh, but your second choice, isn't it? I'm going to disagree, DG. These teams like Liverpool, City and Newcastle need the extra buzz from the crowd. Pep knows as well as Klopp that the egos of the players are one of the factors people neglect. I agree with no, I agree with that. I agree with that. Because anyone that plays Sunday League, I agree with you. I'm just saying, if we do what we need to do, then it's irrelevant. How many times have we seen Manchester City, even at Anfield, not this season, but even at Anfield, you go there, you play your game, shell, people are shell-shocked. So, yeah, man. Here's what it is. I don't watch my headpiece, man. Don't watch my headpiece, man. Your baby mom likes the greasy thing. Allow me, man. Allow me. Allow me. Strategic. We'll get one two weeks. Birthday week. I like my barber, but I don't want to see him bare times. Allow me, man. But yeah, I agree with it. As, but if we just do our job, man, take this thing out of the games, and to a degree, like, there's going to be times we're going to suffer. I have liked our way from this season. I do wish that we beat them at the Etihad and this game was at the Emirates. I would feel even more confident, but it is what it is. If the football gods would grant you one of the two remaining trophies, which one would you choose? Champions League, immediate. Of course, I want to win the Premier League, Champions League. This club's European pedigree is not where it should be. DG the barber on the run. Oh, man. You see, I, I understand it. You know, this is why I always say, baby mums watching my streams, please stop watching this with your fellas because it's not even you lot slandering me. It's these lot. It's hating. It's hating. Is this how Anthony Joshua and Skepta and all the man there feel? I hear it, man. I hear it. I hear it. I'm just here trying to give you lot con content. Cool, you know what? Say, forget you lot. I'm gone. I'm gone. See, so streams cancelled. Being rude. On the Lord's Day as well. It's Ramadan. It's Easter. Uh, love thy neighbor, blood. Smash the like button at the very least. If you're boying me, make sure you're smashing the like button. We're trying to get to 70k and we're flirting with 60,000. We get, I think, like 900 and some change. Horrible people, man. Horrible people. We're friends like you lot. Who needs enemies, eh? Who needs enemies? Who needs enemies? The lot of you with your faceless pictures and that. I hate you lot, mate. Let's smash the like button and leave you alone, man. Bullying guys and that. You got to have thick skin for this internet stuff, you know. To be honest, part of my language, I learned that. <laughs> Some of you lot are so rude. There's a couple years ago, I sat down in my chair, getting on with my morning, got my coffee, went on the comments because, you know, I like to reply to you lot. There was a lot of positive comments. Da, 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 da. I'm scrolling. Someone's like, fuck you, DG. Suck your mom. I was like, oh, wow, lad, you do, I don't even know you. Like, what do you even do nothing? What I do to make you there, man. Saka smiling. Not a god, don't look shook this time. We're winning, DG. All the guards cooking today. Please, please, please. <laughs> uh, yes, DG, my G. Little mental warm up. Can we please have 10 Arsenal players, former current from Africa? I'll allow only three French ballers of African descent if needed. Blood, you're moving, man. Colo Torre, Ibue, Lauren. I'm claiming it will be played for Nigeria. It will be. Um, Shamak, Morocco. Um, China. There can't be no more. Who do we have early Emirates days? That's it. Yeah. Five minutes until kickoff. Um, I must have said them all, man. I said it'd be eight. Can I claim Yaya Toure? He had a trial at Arsenal. He had a trial at Arsenal. Um, I mean, if you said I could do the French thing. Oh, can you? Oh, my God. 
Kanu. Oh my god, sorry, forgive me for forgetting you. Uh, uh, uh Quincy something, you don't know what I'm talking about. He might have played for Holland or Ghana. You not know who I'm talking about, man. That guy. Um <sighs> Saliba's got Cameroonian in him. He said that one. El Nene, oh Javinho. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, mind game. Partey. Oh man. Mind game. Song. Mind games. Hey, good, good, good one. Good one, man. You might have to, you're getting signed to do that every live stream. That was good. Oh man. That's like when I went on the Sun's YouTube channel and they were saying name Italian footballers. After it was done, I was like, why didn't any of these come to mind? Oh, I might have to close my window. No one to see that helicopter. There's me. There's me wanting some fresh air, but that's going to put me off. As long as you're not doing anything weak, I hope you get away from the real these damn kickoff is irrelevant. And let's have it, man. You know what? When you're going through hell in life, you have to keep going. We only fear God, man. Fuck it. You know what, City, I've got nothing but respect for Man City. They're crazy, but you bleed just like us, man. Let's go. Please, God, please allow me today. Please, man, please. The group chat's going off. At football today, there was a lot of slander from other clubs, fans that support other clubs. I might have got excited and proclaimed, never do that on this channel, but proclaim we're going to do this and we're going to do that, not just today, but in terms of trophies in May. Nazri, oh Pepe, a Bamian and Ketty, Adebayo, oh damn, you see, yeah, but you lot are getting time to think, man. I'm on the spot. We gotta put ten passes together early doors. I hear that. I hear that. Odegaard must just sink today with Kai, please, please. If that happens, there'll be goals galore. Take your chances, man, because it's a bit weird. Because we're one of the top goal scorers. We've been scoring goals for fun. Um, it sounds crazy to say, but I don't think we're as clinical as we could be. And I think we need to kill games. I think the best medicine would probably be, I hope they watch the game and get the couple of games against City again. But I hope we remember the FA Cup game against Liverpool, where it's a big game. We were superb, but goals win games, put the ball in the back and they change games. Pardon me. But it's come on, man. It's here now, man. It is what it is at this point, folks. It's it's here. It's, it's here now. We've been talking about this for about two weeks. Well, in fact, that's a lie because really we've been winning games and after we talk about winning the games and whatnot, we start waffling about the City game. It's come now. Kevin De Bruyne, oh man. For 90 minutes, you're not better than Lukonga. You're not better than him. we got a better, we got a Belgi better Belgian midfielder than you. We've got to be shameless. Come on, Ryan, man. Please, boys, just go down fighting. Just get the three points. No one make no mistakes. And if it does go south, just one of the young players score early doors and we're gone, man. Nerves are killing me. Listen, if you didn't get nerves, you wouldn't be alive, man. You've got to channel that. We've got 160 likes. Can we get to 200 before the end of the stream? City, man said City who? Most importantly, no goofy Ramsdale getting distracted by fans in the goal. To be fair, he's 30 in games like this, man. <laughs> Hit the like button, man. What do you say your prediction is? I'm going 2 1 Arsenal. DRB. Yeah, but you're claiming the Banduli ones, man. I was trying not to go with people with African descent. I was actually trying to find, like, remember the African players that actually played for us. In all seriousness, though, I think the heartbreaks this squad went through the last two years, bottling champs and bottling the league have built us up character-wise, necessary growing pains. I mean, let's just keep going, in it? Hopefully them pains are over. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne is scaring me. Odegaard, show him what real creativity is, man. He does spam crosses and that. Come on, Odegaard. That's like your counter. No, obviously, Kevin's a big player. This is in many ways, see you like our counterparts. Like, Odegaard, I want you to one day be mentioned in the same realm as Kevin De Bruyne. Come on, boys. Come on, man. Please, boys. My oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm everything. Odegaard's got this. Odegaard, I know you've got something. Capitano. Yeah, look at him. He looks, he looks too calm. Arteta oh, doing all of this. Oh, Pep's doing the mind games handshake. What we're saying, nerves. Hope we get three points. <laughs> Hope we get three points. I wish I could skip the skip the game and just wake up and we we've, we've got our talking points. I I want to watch it, but I don't want to watch it. This is where I see who's a talisman. You know who wants to stand up to be counted. You got Gary Neville in the commentary. I'm definitely happy. I'm not you, lot. 
Harlan saying, well, go on to Odegaard. We don't know you. For 90 minutes, there's no friends. Come on, boys. We were kicking off, folks. It's a bit of a weird kickoff from us, but I like that. We've kicked off anyways. Feels like forever, but Raya's gone long. Kai Havertz doesn't win the header. Diaz does. It's fooling to Jorginho. Jorginho's pass hasn't come off. That's ours, ref. Early doors. That's ours. That's ours. Ref, what's Pep doing? Pass the ball, Pep. Thank you. Kiri will take him off that next time. Shout out, Pep. What are we doing? I just think everything Pep does is mind games, man. He's a scary guy. Kirio's taking the throw and he's found Gabriel. Really feels like we haven't watched Arsenal play football in years, man. Raya. Jorginho, we're going to need you. Characters, man. Declan Rice, Jorginho, Odegaard in particular. Ooh, Saliba asked a lot of Gabriel there. He's had to hook it. And it's given rather cheaply back to City. You look to get their passing going. We know what City do, man. They pass to disrupt your team shape. They can kill you by a million passes. They can kill you in two passes. They've got goals from all over the areas of the pitch. They've got quality individual players. They've got quality systems and varieties in that. They've got a great bench to call from. They go at all. Otega's goal kick. Met by Kiri. Oh, hey, ref. I'm not going to lie. It's not a foul on Gabriel Jesus, but you've got to call it. Good bit of skill from Kirio. Good pass from Kirio. Kai Havertz, believe in yourself, please. Odegaard tried to help it on, but it doesn't find Saka. And I'm not going to lie. Kai, use your right foot, please. You should have just used your right foot there. Set the team up like, like Stoke. <laughs> man, stinky nil-nil. Uh, I don't know, man. Is it even susceptible to shut a team out for, for 90 minutes like that? Or a team like City? Or is the best approach attacking? Kovacic, don't foul him, Jorginho. Kevin De Bruyne skips past Jorginho. He finds Phil Foden. Surely Haaland's offside there. I don't think the offside flag has been risen. Oh, all right, no, nah, you won the ball. All right, the offside flag. I think Saliba won the ball. Like, Saliba tackled him in the box. You never know. The offside flags eventually come up. But that's a glimpse into these things. It's a lovely run from Haaland as well. And if I'm honest, Gabriel, be aware of that. And Declan Rice. I hope the boys don't feel like us, man. Two minutes in, that's the great news about it. The whole country of footballing neutrals are behind Arsenal today. I fancy City just based on previous experience. Big up yourself, Reese. Hope everything's well. And I hope we can do it today. Akanji's playing right back. Obviously, in the absence of Kyle Walker, Gabriel Jesus. Come on, man. I've been doing PR for you all week. You've got to be stronger there. So, with Bernardo Silva on this right hand side, Kirill stand up. Oh, Kirill got sent for a hot dog. Gabriel Jesus has fouled him. Kirill, please. Kirill, please. You lost the battle. Make sure you win the war. And we know what to expect with City. They're going to antagonise. They're going to surround the ref. They're going to call for everything. It's cool. It's cool, Kirill. It's all right. Bernardo Silva does that. Gabriel Jesus had to foul him. Again, Jesus don't get a yellow card yet. Kirill, be awake, man. Boy, Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden over a free kick is scary, man. Absolutely scary. Yeah, I'm even mad. Ref, how long? Come on. Take the set piece. The dead ball scenario, whatever you want to refer to it as. Come on, boys. Everyone be strong, please. Ref, how long, man? Come on. This ref's a ball prick. Don't know why, but the rest going to talk to someone about something. I don't know. Come on, boys, man. I mean, finally, Kevin De Bruyne has delivered. It's a good deal. Ref, there's a foul there. Oh, is it corner? Benjamin White with an important interception. It looked like it was going to find Harlan. Come on, boys. We knew this was going to happen. And big up Arteta for increasing the height in our team, man. Come on, boys. Dead ball scenarios and set pieces. Where the poster boys are at this season. I know Sean Dice won't be happy about that. Ref, look at Akanji on Raya, please. If this was Benjamin White, you'd have full eyes on him. Would have taken it. Gabriel is whose head, is it? It's still alive here for City. Guardiola, don't foul him, Jesus, man. Guardiola, skip past Gabriel Jesus. He's floated it into the box. Oh, my days. Benjamin White's headed it out. Phil Foden keeps it for City. We knew we was going to suffer. We're going to be under the cost for a minute, people. Don't worry, boys. We'll get our chance. We'll get our chance. But we have to believe today. 
We have to believe. Kovacic, oof, great ball into Haaland. Haaland into Foden. Foden into Kevin De Bruyne. I'm so nervous. Kevin De Bruyne fortunately finds Declan Rice. Odegaard, Jorginho, Benjamin White. Be brave, boys. Benjamin White forcing it. You're, hey, you're panicking, man. Giving it away cheaply. Ref, that's ours. No chance, that's ours. Boys, come on. Ref throw wasn't there. He's allowed Guardiola to take it anyways. Boys, it's cool. It's calm. Jesus isn't up for this game, backing out already. Harsh, man. Harsh. Saliba and everybody. You know, Declan Rice, Gabriel and Saliba, you lot all need to keep eyes on Haaland. It's here with Ruben Diaz. I mean, there's not really much to say from an Arsenal perspective in this opening five minutes. It really had much of the ball. Rodri to Ortega. Ortega using his weaker foot. Finds Haaland. Well, it doesn't actually. Gabriel mops up. Ref, Saliba's been fouled there. That's a, that's a yellow early doors for Kevin De Bruyne. We've taken it early. Rest, let us take it early. Martin Odegaard. Come on, Sax. You weren't about when we beat City at the Emirates. Create your own memories today. Odegaard. Saliba finds Gabriel. Come on, boys. No one gets scared. Kirill, you've got this. Oh, Lord, that touch was horrible, Kirill, you know. Akanji's always going to win it in the air up against Gabriel Jesus. And it's back here with Manchester City. Come on, boys. Keep the heads up immediate. I mean, it's still nil-nil. And to be honest, even if we can see the first, which I don't want to happen, obviously, we need to keep our heads and the self-belief. I know our waveform in terms of goals conceded has been brilliant, but even if we are to win today, you'd be amazed if we keep a clean sheet against City at their place, because technically we did. Guardia tried to find Kevin De Bruyne. You see, again, regardless of what they do, we need to get him. Declan Rice. Come on, Declan. He finds Benjamin White. Who's in the box? Come on, boys. Benjamin White delivers. It's fallen to Jesus. Brazil settings. Oh, ref, is it corner? Oh, half chance. Half chance. Half chance. But positive vibes, boys. Benjamin White's pull it into the box. In truth, it's not the best of crosses, but Jesus has made something happen. You're Brazilian, the jinky jinky. Someone like him, could he have taken another touch and done something? I don't know. He scruffed at it in truth. I'm lying about it being a corner, but we ain't had much. First and first real thing of note within the first seven minutes, really. Come on, boys. We're going to have chances, or at least I hope so, but we're going to have to take them. <sighs> Stop showing the fans. Show the game. There's nerves. What a way to kick off Premier League action again. We've got a throw in with Benjamin White here, folks. I don't know what Rice means by this. Maybe calm down, but he's saying do that. Well, in fact, it might mean pass him the ball because White's done that and he's given it back to him. And it's here with William Saliba. William Saliba finds Martin Wondergaard. Wondergaard to Saka. He sold Saka short in truth. That's our throw, though, ref. Where's the ball, boys? It was never that far. Ref, what are you talking about? The throw's not there. Okay. Anyways, Benjamin White. Scared Doc, in fact, let me stop because words have a funny way of coming back to bite you. Declan Rice. It does, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a lot more conf confident and comfortable in our performance when we have the ball. It's when City have the ball, I'm nervous. Raya looks to do the Hollywood pass. Raya, was that the best thing to do? Or to be fair, he's knocked it into Kai Havots. Uh wait, what ref? No way you've given the free kick against Havots for that. Fair enough. It's got to be offside. Ref, how many times has Ake done that as well? Kovacic. Pardon me. Boys, come on, man. Still no clues who wins this as of yet, folks. Naturally, you know, both teams. It's like a chess match. Not the best of passes to Ortega, but Kovacic tries to find fold and City get out of there, really. Harlan can't get onto that. Gabriel, where are you, Rayo? There you are. It's gone back all the way to Rayo. Oh, Rayo. I don't know if he meant that to go through his leg. Rayo, Rayo, yo. Yo, Rayo. Rayo, what are you doing? He's giving it straight back to City. What are you doing? Come on, wake up, man. Bernardo Silva finds Kevin De Bruyne into the box. Rayo collects well in. Boys, come on. If we are to concede, let it be because City do something brilliant. Don't let it be because of lapses in concentration. William Saliba, Saka, finally said his name in possession. But you don't want to see Saka receiving the ball there. 
Saliba's done some nonsense with some of his passing. Saka to Odegaard. Strength from Odegaard. Now I'm capping ref. That's a free kick, boys. If the ref isn't giving it, play on. There's none of this. Bernardo Silva has a kanji to his right. Finally plays him the pass. City are there for the taking. Got to be easy, man. Just manage the game. It's like, I know football is arguably a 100-minute game now, but it's like nine, ten-minute mini-matches across the 90 minutes, in my opinion. It's just, you know, first 10 minutes, stalemate. First match, better yet, stalemate. Now from minute 20, 10 to 20, another one. Kovacic, Foden. He's been moved out to the left. And it'd be, as I said, it'd be interesting to see how Foden is being utilised. The same with Bernardo Silva and actually the fullbacks of both teams. They've got a throw in on this right hand side, Manchester City. This is so nerve wracking, and nothing's happened. It's just nerve wracking. Let's stop being scared, man. The past brings regrets, the future uncertainty. There's no time like the present. Word to Arsene Wenger. Kovacic. Rodri gives it back to Kovacic. Kovacic seen plenty of the ball early doors. Goes back to Rodri. Diaz doesn't get the ball. It's here with Akanji. Akanji opts to keep it on this right-hand side. And now it's here with Bernardo Silva. To be fair, Gabriel is used to track back quite a lot. Bernardo Silva after the game. Can you talk to Fabio Vieira, please? Because I think, you know, he needs to model his game kind on you. Manchester City still have the ball, people. As we know, where they're going to have the ball for lot large periods. We're going to have to, you know, just hold shape and live dangerously, quote-unquote. Rodri's aiming to glide through our team. Never. Thank you, Gabriel. Odegaard finds Saka. Saka just sent someone shop. It was big ref. There's a foul there. And we can't get out and we can't retain the ball. And as soon as we lose, it's back here with Kevin De Bruyne. Between Declan Rice and, and Gabriel Jesus, they've mopped up. Be brave, boys. Gabriel, get your body there, Declan. Finds Kirill. Be brave, Kirill. That touch, bro. He stopped bringing these kind of man to the trenches. It's back here with Manchester City. We li we're living dangerously. William Saliba. Ref! Tells Jesus to get up. I'm reaching as well, people, if I'm completely honest with you. Kirill looking a bit nervous, man. Looking a bit nervous with some of these touches. You're better than that, man. Phil Foden. So far, you know, we've got a resolute and compact defensive unit, but City just getting further and further up the pitch as the game goes on. Bernardo Silva on this right-hand side. Diaz whips it in first time. Ain't had to play much like a centre-half today, has he, really? More or less another right-back, as a Kanji just doing whatever. Pep's system, as we all know, is very intricate. Raya gets it moving and he finds Saliba. Come on, who wants the ball, man? Seriously. Saliba, what are you doing, man? Yo, Saliba, what are you doing? Thank the Lord, Jorginho has the ball. Ooh, ref! How many is Rodri done? We need to get Rodri booked early doors. I don't know if City are there for the taking. Kirill looking not ready for this. Just too basic right now, really. And to be fair, it's not even that. Kir Kirill is just... You deserve to start. You just look, the touches are just baggy. Get that out of your system. Anyways, Jorginho in possession. That's a good knock. Come on, Benjamin White. Come on. Ben White delivers. It's a good knock. Probably too close to the goalie, but it's a good knock. I mean, in an attacking sense, the, the two times within this opening 13 minutes that... Benjamin White's offered some sort of attacking threat or an, an option. We've, we've got into their box, really. Apart from that, there ain't made really anything to say. Nothing, really. A couple nervy passes and touches so far. Off the ball shape's good, though, so far. But again, the first 13, 14 minutes is one thing. The last is another. Okay, City have had plenty of the ball. We ain't really offered nothing. And City are attacking down this left-hand side. Saka, that's your man, Guardiola, you know. And he's chopped inside. Saka's dropped. Don't get spanned, Saka. Saka stops the cross, but it's a corner. <sighs> yeah, left-back's doing that. Saka and Ben White having some conversations. I personally feel Saka should have been out to him a lot sooner. It's far too narrow. But he did well in the end. Ref, look at Akanji on Raya, please. 
Is it, uh, God forbid, but is this one of them games we have to concede to wake up a bit? Harlan's scary, man. <laughs> Gabriel Jesus marking Harlan strikers, marking strikers is scary. Oh my God. It's a lovely in swinging corner and it's fallen to Ake. And he's just not got any clean contact. I genuinely thought he scored there. Gabriel was in the way. It's hit the fire of Raya. Right place at the right time. Boy. City are attacking far too easy. It's not because we're playing rubbish. It's just that it's too easy for them. Come on, man. We're forcing things, man. Forcing things. Saliba, please, wake up with the passing. Forcing it to Benjamin White there. But once again... I know a bit of it is due tactically because Saka is being man-marked, but why is Benjamin White looking like the only one that wants to do something in attacking third? I know it's got to take time, but come on, boys. Come on. Eh? Stop doing the superstar things. I think Foden's giving away a corner. Come on, boys. Lovely corner. Should be a goal down, but you will not find me complaining. We've got 191 likes. Can we get to 200 for the end of the stream? Boy, we've got a corner. Saka, come on, decent delivery. This is normally us, man. This is normally our bread and butter, man. Goals change, change games. Sometimes I think they're the worst thing you can do, ironically, even though you need goals to win games. Come on, man. All the tall man in the box, come on. Make a nuisance. Saka, the delivery's got to be spot on. It's got to be decent. Is it? It's not, the, it's not the worst. Strong by Ortega. Someone get in front of the keeper. Well in Kai Havertz. Everybody get back, please. Gabriel, where are you? Ortega's done well to find Bernardo Silva. Fortunately, we've got numbers back, but yeah. Rodri. Bernardo Silva. Rodri. It's an interesting game so far. I wouldn't say we're cancelling them out, but City haven't found the way through. Let me not jinx us. Diaz. That's another thing that gives me a lot more confidence generally with us not getting back because Arteta's put a big emphasis on it's all great to play sexy football. You've got to be able to defend and be sw switched on off the ball. All right, Kirio and Gabriel Jesus, why are you both tucking in? Diaz, Rodri, Saka, look over your shoulder, please. Not looking over your shoulder. Rodri's popped it to Guardiola again. Guardiola, that's a half-decent delivery. Haaland can't win the header. Jesus, his header is flicked onto a kanji. It's bobbled under his feet, but Man City still have the ball. It's that diminutive playmaker, Bernardo Silva. He's played it inside to Roger. He's typically a villain against us, really. Kevin De Bruyne. Ake. Diaz. Rodri. Driving forward. Still can't nick it off them. Kovacic. We know what City are on. They will wait for that perfect opening. Akanji. Is he playing the give and go? See, Jesus makes me a lot confident in his defensive performance. Bernardo Silva. Kirill's done quote-unquote well enough. Diaz. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne and Ireland. I'm watching you too. Saliba, I'm watching. Lovely ref, that's ours. Surely? Of course it's not our throw. Still City have the ball. Bernardo Silva keeps it in possession. Oh, man. I said someone explained how Folding has waves. <laughs> Mum's been naughty, girl. Bernardo Silva. This right-hand side is scaring me, man. Don't look like everyone switched on. Bernardo Silva. Phil Folden keeps it in possession. Rodri. Must be about like a million City passes now. Woo. Large periods. Spent without the ball so far, man. Jesus has made another foul. Allegedly. He ain't been booked yet, which is great. We have Jesus playing left back. How embarrassing is that? To be fair, he's, I'm not sure what you want. At least he's tucking in defensively. But it'd be nice to get on the ball and see Jesus and Cole from an attacking sense. It's here with Ake again. Phil Foden. And I wonder how much of a mental thing this game is as well. Are the wounds still fresh with how it ended last year? Is there still an inferiority complex? Is there an element of complacency with City? I don't know. We'll never know. Diaz has found Rodri. Rodri. Probably what a player. Saka, please. Your right-hand shoulder, man. Wide areas. Naturally, because both teams are going to congest the middle, it would be wide areas that can make the difference. 
Well, in we finally won it back. Wee! Hey, Zeus, Declan Rice, Kirill, no, man, we're panicking, bro. It's back here with City. Oh, it's back here with Kai Havertz. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Havertz has done well into Saka. Saka alone, alone, alone. Be strong, ref. Great tackle from the City, lad. Saka, that's poor. That's very poor. Especially moments we ain't got the ball. Get us further up the game, up the pitch, man. We've got to remind City that they're a great team, but we've got problems too. So great tackle from Guardiola. He's enjoying his game so far. And it's still here with Man City's Ortega. Doing to us what we've been doing to teams in the last few games. Kovacic. You look at the starting positions of Rodri, of Kovacic, what that's allowing Diaz to do. It's quite crazy and intricate what Pep's system is. Got the players that play in the pockets. Look, Bernardo, Silva and Foden are everywhere. Oh, great guy for Pep Biz, man. Ruben Diaz. Rodri. Hmm. Have to match that physicality. We just need to hit them on the counter. I can't lie. We're not going to outpass them. Just need to take our chances, man. Go on, Saliba. Get there, please. Phil Folden's got there. He's tried to set it to Kevin De Bruyne. Not poor for someone like him. Martin Wondergaard played. Kirill. Too narrow, bro. Jesus. Tommy, stay warm. 60 minutes. David Raya, come on, stop this, man. This is there. It's not adapting. We need to keep the... Saka's never getting that. We need to keep the balls. Raya, Saliba, a couple of times you're doing the movie pass. Just keep the ball, man. It's a very different game than the one at the Emirates. But come on, man. Keep the ball. We knew there was going to be periods like this. I thought, you know, it'd be more of an open, an even opening exchange to this uh, opening proceedings of this game. But yeah, man, we need something. We need outlets. Pep is unbeaten in all 12 managerial home games against Arsenal. Jesus talking, being given instructions, sorry, to me from Mikel Arteta. And Jesus saying something. I don't know what he's saying, but saying something. Come on, boys. No, nah, man, I don't think... I think it's too early to be talking about who should have started and whatever. I think the whole team, we're not showing much from an attacking sense. Saliba, bring it down. you got time. you got time. Back yourself. Bro, Saliba, fam. Come on, man. Bakayo Saka up against Guardio. Does well to track him back, but still have the ball City do. Kovacic. And again, I'm not going to lie, when I'm watching this, I'm just looking at every player off the ball from a City perspective. Look at what Kevin's doing. Seems like the last couple of times he's been peeling into the space near Kirill. Does he smell blood in that regard? I don't know. Guardia. It's calm, man. We're going to get our chances. And by chances, I'm not talking about necessarily scoring, but holding on to the ball. Diaz. Kevin De Bruyne up against Kirill. Don't lie to you, look. Bernardo Silva. Kevin De Bruyne has a good delivery. Thank the Lord for Jorginho. He sent it back where it came from. Diaz has flicked it on first time. Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz. Yo, thank you. All right, Rice. <sighs> Need to hold on to the ball, boys. Come on. Losing the ball the rare time, the rare times we win it. Need to just string 10 passes together. Lovely one, two between City's Kevin De Bruyne and Akanji. It's come off Kirill. Kirill, don't panic, bro. Who is that to you? I'm not trying to be critical and I can never put myself in a professional player's shoes. But you're better than that and you could see the passes on TV. Like, why are you doing that? We're clearly struggling to keep the ball. So when we get it, let's try hang on to it. It's a lovely ball from City to this left-hand side. Guardiola, it's had a very good game so far. Phil Folden. Diaz doesn't get it. Kovacic elects to pass it to Ake. Kevin De Bruyne plays a one-two of Ake. Look at these players in the pockets, folks. Rodri chops past Kai Havertz. Declan Rice having none of it. Martin Odegaard, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is everyone? Why is it only Kai Havertz? Odegaard, please. Kicks it on to Kai Havertz. You might have to do it alone. Believe in yourself, Havertz. Believe in yourself. Finds Gabriel Jesus. Back to Havertz. Oi, oi. Oh, oh, have us chill, chill. Ref, that's an accident, ref, ref. He's entitled to go for the ball. He's entitled to go for the ball, ref. Don't act, please. He's entitled to go for it, ref. 
Shut up, Diaz. City, Paul Seals, such a big club. Every second. This is why they win titles beyond anything. Just surrounding the ref, having words. I'm not going to lie. Did look a bit unnecessary from Havertz, but the pass weren't the best. Havertz at full stretch entitled. And to be fair, he did get a touch on the ball to follow through. Ortega's felt some of that. Why? Come on, boys, man. It's feeling like the counter-attack is the only way to bust case. Oh, it looks like... Oh, wow. City injuries are mounting up. Unfortunately, that looks like the end of Ake's day. Re young Rico Lewis is coming on. It's like Ake wants to continue, but it's like Pep looks a bit frustrated. He's, he's made his mind up. We hope that's not a serious injury for Ake. Obviously, City are dealing with a lot of injuries at this moment in time. Young Rico Lewis is coming on. Great quality player with a wonderful future. But can we ask some questions of him today? That was totally unnecessary from Kai. I never saw it, so I can't comment on it. I suppose it's positive Ake's on his feet and that, but it's not a good sign that he's had to come off where City and Pep's recently, rightly so, actually been complaining about the schedule list. So be very sure they don't want to have any more injuries. Boy, when is that? I wonder what that means. Does a Kanji go to on the left hand side? Does Rico Lewis go over there? Probably just Rico Lewis, one out, one in. Look at the build up play. Look where Diaz is, Kovacic is, Akanji is, etc. Couple of times, Kovacic has just gone into that pocket. Kovacic has just sent Saka for a bagel. Saka might have to change his boots, man. You dropped a couple of times. Gabriel's done well to win the first header against Haaland. Unfortunately, Kevin De Bruyne has picked up the second unnecessary foul from Gabriel there. Unnecessary, unnecessary, but I'm here for it. Shut up, Harlan. Feel folding you and back your mum as well. So no matter what you do, you're a fantastic footballer. You watch your mum, serious things happen. You can't sleep at night, you just come back. Please stop talking to the ref. Gabriel, that was clumsy, man. I thought we came a long way from this. Kovacic. Very interesting. Kirill fouling people off the ball, boys. Surprised we ain't got books here. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised the ref ain't. And I, I listen, hopefully it goes like that because Kirio on the yellow card, that's scary. All my defenders. I rate it though. He had to. He, he, it's dark oh It's not really good ones because he's been caught, but he's had to push Bernardo. You know what, you know what time it is. Kevin De Bruyne has another one. <sighs> Keep going, boys. It would be nice to string some passes together though. It's games like this that make it will make me think like this is why you wanted to play this before the international break. City don't look like they've had an international break. We do. Kevin De Bruyne delivers. It's headed out by Kai Havertz. Saka will give chase against Kovacic. But Kovacic is a baller, plays it safety first approach and finds Bernardo Silva. Not really anything to scream and shout about from an Arsenal perspective, as we already know. Appreciative to you lot, people. We have 200 likes. Pick up the Twitch gang. Can we get as close to 300 as possible by doing such, folks? So if you haven't subscribed, we'll smash the like button. You know what to do. Kovacic, Rodri. Not the best of Rodri passes, but it still finds Phil Foden. No foul, Benjamin. Together, boys. Together, together. See, games like this, Kovacic comes into his own. Well, to speak of the devil, he's lost it there. Odegaard, ref. Oh. Good. Hey, Jorginho, lovely. Well in Kai. Hey, Kai. Come on, boys. Hold it. That's three passes. Let me get ten. Four. Five. Raya, don't be hero. Simple, please. Please. Six. Seven. Okay. Now we're awake. Seven. Declan Rice. Eight. Nine. Gabriel. Nine. Ten. All right, that's ten push-ups, Man City. All right, that's 11. Oh, right, okay. Now we now we might have woken up now. Finally. Got to believe. You're going to suffer, but you need to pick your moments. Declan Rice. Woo. About 13, 14. Now I'm not going to lie. I lost count. Raya. Oh, it's Hollywood settings now from Raya. Good pass into Saka, really. Stefan, not a handball. It's Stefan, not a handball. It's hit the guy's chin. Stop crying, Foden. Stop it, please. Kirill, come on. Believe in yourself. Oh, Lord. I rate the idea. The application was horrible where he tried to find Kai Havertz. Boys, we need to do better because we're just going to make ourselves tired. 
it must be tiring being without the ball for long periods. We should be braced for this. We knew what time it was. Diaz. Kovacic. Rodri. I'd love to just watch Pep in training in terms of build-up play. Because it's amazing. And here it is with Kevin De Bruyne. He's got Haaland and Phil folded in front of him. Kevin De Bruyne just skipping past players like it's nothing. Fortunately, Phil Folders lost his footing. Saliba doing madness. I'm not going to lie. A couple of players have lost their footing. Lovely bravery from Jesus and Ben White. Sa Aye, ben White and you look Lovely. Ben White surging down the right-hand side. That's the third time I've said that. Martin Wondergaard. Let's go. Ben White. Aye, aye. Kirio. Ah, Kirio to Jesus first time. Bang it. Bro, shoot, bro. You know. Finally. I, I'm, they, we ain't scored, but finally some play. Ben White for the third time. Shout out Odegaard and everyone else involved. For the third time, Ben White is looking like our outlet. Jesus dragged it wide. Unlucky, man. Unlucky. 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 What? Two Jesus half chances. Dragged wide, but... Minimal play in City's third. City's defence third, really. But as much as I keep saying it, we knew this was to be expected. And I'm not going to say we don't have belief, but we don't look at like there's a 100% there's belief here. Look a bit flat. I don't know if, you know, some players are tired after the international break. Some players ain't, you know, got a bit rusty because they've had it off. I don't know. Kirill. Zinchenko, get warmed up. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Martin Odegaard, I don't know what you saw there, but it's hit cannon off the back of Declan Rice. Boy, stop giving the ball away, man. Come on, man. Everyone gamble. Big up yourself, Daniel. Shout out Ben White, man. Why are our defenders doing long passes? Stop effing doing that. To be fair to them, even though I agree with you and it's frustrating, sometimes when you're playing Sunday League, you can't see that nobody's asking for the ball in midfield, not criticising anyone. You just do the movie pass. Or maybe there's a bit of nerves. I don't know. Either way, I need to see us retain the ball a bit better when we do get it. Because we're not, I don't think City are putting us under crazy pressure, but quote unquote, when you're fighting for your life and you're having to sit in your position because you ain't got the ball, the minute you win it back, look after it. It's tiring chasing the ball for 90 minutes or 32 minutes. And now we're into that period, the last 10, 15 of the first half is where I want to see us switched on. Kovacic attempts a defence split and pass, rise off his line early. Jorginho begging him for it. Dash the ball, bro, please. Okay, I, that, that, Raya, I know you got something. I know you're going to find a player. Come on, boys. Everyone, a bit of bravery now. Come on. Raya, find Saliba. Okay, maybe not Maybe not this much bravery, boys. Saliba. This is tired, man. Keep doing tired stuff. You see? Looking unsure, people. Looking unsure. I'd rather you just attempt what you want to attempt. Make the mistake and we learn. Stop being nervous, boys. City have the ball again. Saliba, a quality player, but for real, against Porto and so far, there's been a little period he's shown his age at times, which I expect. Diaz, Kovacic. And you, one thing about Pep, you burn him once. It's a new sort of game. We burned him twice. Fair enough, it went to penalties again, um, at Wembley. I'm sure there was a lot of things he did tactically against us at the Emirates that didn't go to plan. So you'd imagine him and his coaching staff meticulously have been planning week in, week out on the game plan. And I think the build-up play with the positions Kovacic is taking up and Rodri is good. We're now looking to press. Come on, Kovacic is fairly press resistant and we've got to do it together. If only... Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, Odegaard's great. Oh, come on, come on, come on, boys. Oh, Odegaard, through sheer relentless pressing, has made something happen. Jesus, bang it, bro. Just make a name for yourself. Oi, oi, Brazil. Brazil, shoot, my bro. Bro, shoot, man. It's cannoned, it's cannoned off a city, man. Don't be offside off. It's childish being offside there. It's them mistakes that you need to capitalise on. Odegaard, brilliant. I was just praising Kovacic for being press resilient. Odegaard's gambled. He's kept it alive. Jesus is an amazing footballer. But this is why, unfortunately, he's not a consistent goal scorer. He's trying to fashion an opening. They're just a sea of blue shirts. He's eventually cannoned off someone. The offside flag came up, but they're the chances, boys. Don't let them out. Don't let them out. Believe that's ours, ref. That's ours. It hasn't gone out. Oh, foot race. Harland up against Gabriel. That's it. His hand, ref. 
And he's been weights. Low it, Harlan. Get up, low it. You got weights. Serious Brazilian centre back that is. Get up, please. You're too big for all of that. Pause. Odegaard's done brilliant to find Saka. Saka's been a passenger today, but he's still the star boy. Saka down this right hand side. Bakayo, hey, bang. No, not you, Kirio. Declan hit it. DG thing. Shameless. Declan Rice on the edge of the area. Plays a one two of Gabriel. He's tired. Bro, Sa Saka tried to bang it. Odegaard disarmed him. Jesus doing Brazilian things. It's not a time and a place. Smash it, lad. We've woken up a little bit. But that's the thing with City. They can lure you into a false sense of security. You think, yeah, we're here to fight you. And then two passes, they're gone. But hopefully moments like that can bring a bit of inspiration to us. And I'm not saying we haven't got courage, but it's just a bit more belief, man. It's not looking like it's not looking like we believe in ourselves. More so than anything, we just appear a bit flat. Like it really is a Sunday. Gabriel does well to win the head of Saliba, Jorginho. Lovely. Ben White man on. Goes back to Saliba. Saliba. Saliba's passing has been bookie today, man. He's giving it back to City. Folding. Some quality players on display today. Kovacic to Bernardo Silva. He's the one that's... Him, Rodri, scared me the most out of anyone. Obviously, Kevin De Bruyne and Haaland goes without saying. But they, you know, if Kevin De Bruyne and Haaland get the get the highlights, it's them lot that orchestrate it. And it's that man, Bernardo Silva, in possession again. Fancy's taking on Kirito. Rodri keeps possession for City. To be fair, though, to be fair, though, we can get frustrated with Jesus, but who else is doing anything? Like... Cool, Jesus has had a couple efforts that have dragged wide, and I'm not excusing him, but apart from Jesus that and Ben White a couple crosses, we ain't asked no questions defensively. And slightly the passing from our, some of our defenders has been horrible. Saka, how many times? Look over your shoulder, bro. It's Guardiola again. Ben White stopped the cross. Please, a lovely cross. Harlan's the head has whistled wide. Again, come on, boys. You can see what's going to happen. To be fair to Saka, maybe he's instructed to do what he's doing, but we keep leaving their left back free. And to be fair, maybe Gabriel did just enough to somewhat put off Haaland, somewhat. But we've seen Haaland a lot more than we saw him at Wembley or at the Emirates, so he's on this. David Rye, what are we doing here? Saliba, you need five minutes without the ball. David Rye is actually taking it and slipped, giving it straight to Rodri. So you have Kevin De Bruyne, it's now here with Haaland. Declan Rice has tried to wait Haaland. He's ended up bringing him down. So coming together, I don't know for the yellow card. Relax, Haaland, man. For such a good team as City of Bastards. Jesus has no confidence. On the goal score in front, I agree. Jesus, man, where's Martinelli? Amen. Trust out and Martinelli, get warm, man. You at least got half an hour in you. Another free kick to Kevin Rhino. How much time is we going to play with five before we get burnt, man? I wonder what they're doing here. Where's Harlan? Harlan's next to Havarts. Havarts is trying to push him offside. Akanji keeps it alive. Oh, look at the edge of the area. Not going to lie, man. If we could just... I hope I don't jinx it. If we could just get into half time like this, then it's calm. As I said, I'd love to win. I definitely want a more of a performance, but if Pet would be kind enough to just agree to a point now, then we move. I don't think we've been terrible, but and lackluster is not the right word. I just think flat, like everything's been a bit flat. Bernardo Silva up against Kirio. Oh, this guy's a nasty footballer, man. No, Bernardo Silva's so good. What a nasty footballer to play against. Diaz to Akanji. Akanji delivers. Oh, does it find Rodri? It oh, glides past. It's not a corner, ref. It's not a corner. It's not a corner. Don't know why they got their hands up. It's not a corner. Gabriel's gone down. But again, no one picking up Rodri. I don't like you lot. You just heard me say Rodri's name. Raya caught Ramsdale disease. <laughs> Agent Jesus has been doing this for many games now. He needs to be clinical. Come off. I am wanting to see Martinelli. I mean, I wanted Jesus to start. I'm not going to turn my back on Jesus. I do think you lot are doing too much, but goals win games. And this is why you could argue we need a striker, really. 
we are wasting time and I wonder how long we can continue to get away with it. Gabriel's found Raya. Raya backs him so, and he slipped to get... How many footballers have been slipping today? People need to change their boots for both teams. And Raya's made a mess of that for what it's worth. And he's back here with City boys. Come on, man. Don't wait to concede before you try to wake up. They look sharper than us as well. Maybe it's because they're doing what they need to do. Oh, Guardiola's giving away, boy. Oh, fuck off, ref! Sorry, people. How on God's green earth has he been fouled? Oh, the guy's the most marker one in our team. Saka Defo didn't touch him, ref. Come on, you're saving, guys. Guardiola's dilly-dallying there. Come on. Since when is that free kick? Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Guardiola delivers. Oh, Raya's caught. Cool. Oh, that was Buki. That okay, cool. Raya saved it, made it, made sure it didn't go over the line. That was a bit. Um, dodgy crosses coming like my goal in my intro. <laughs> On another day, that might just go in. I mean, he's got money to fix that, man. Too many of our, I can't lie, Raya's kicking has been booky today as well. I think, again, I don't want to say nerves, but people are looking nervous. Lovely from Gabriel Jesus. Oh, ref. I can't lie. If we get a free kick, that's seamless. Okay, so throw in. That was a promising counter-attack. In what world, seriously, in, in what world is that given? Rico Lewis, quality play. The youth doesn't really mean nothing in that regards, but come on, for all his experience. He's a young, relative, inexperienced player. Come on, someone get him. Raya's attempted to put into the left-hand channel. Kiryu's won the head up, but Kanji's... Ooh, ref has gone out. It's corner ref. Okay, okay, see what happens. We've got a corner out of nothing. Come on, boys, man. Raise the levels. They probably overwatered the, gra the grass on purpose, these lot. If I'm honest. We've got a corner. Come on, make it count, man. Ben White taking his position on the keeper. DG, do you think the way we're playing is pre-planned? Yes and no. I think you've got to take a conservative conservative approach and not be naive. But I don't think Arteta would want it to be this flat and this toothless. That's a good ball from Declan Rice. Unfortunately, it's good defending by City. Gabriel, can you big Gabriel playing as a right winger at this moment in time? Attempts to keep it in play. Okayo Saka. Odegaard. You're better than that, Odegaard. We've given it away very cheaply. Fortunately, Declan Rice doesn't allow Kai Havertz. Sorry, not Kai Havertz. Kevin De Bruyne to bring it down. Declan Rice, come on. That sums up the half. The passes are not good enough. We're forcing it. We're on different wavelengths. I applaud the efforts, but it needs to be better. We've got it in our locker. Otega. See, we need to find a keeper like this that just fits what Arteta wants. That's I'll be very disappointed if City score from that because that's a terrible ball from them and somehow it's advanced into our half of the pitch and it's here with Bernardo Silva. Guardiola again, Saka, you need to get title, man. Boy. City versus Arsenal was never the most amazing game on paper to watch. Rico Lewis, Akanji, Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne just, I thought surely we'd nick the ball back there. Somehow he's made that look average. Rodri skips past Odegaard, finds Phil Folden. Phil Folden goes for the shot, it's blocked. My heart rate's gone up. Odegaard's not moving soft in the trenches. Boys, come on. Ref, don't let Phil Folden, Folden, I never saw that aggression when people were doing whatever they were doing. I never saw that aggression. I can't believe you're sizing up to the ref like that. Can't believe your side sizing up to the ref like that. That's crazy. Don't let him talk to you like that, ref. Ref, how many has that happened to Odegaard? That's a GBH charge. You got to book him. Boys, relax and wake up now, man. The passing's fucking sloppy. Apologies for the French people, but I love this club. Sloppy passes, man. Like, we're not doing bad, but, like, just look a bit more sharper. Thought so far. I think the passing's a bit sloppy. think I would like to see us retain possession a bit more. Not really anything to talk about in the final third beyond Gabriel Jesus, a couple of wide efforts and obviously Benjamin White bombing down the right-hand side. 
I think Saliba and Raya's passing has been a bit shaky, if I'm honest. Kirio initially as well, but he's got over that. Played from Kai Havertz. We've lost it, unfortunately, curse of the commentator. Boys, reset, reset. And when the game gets open, thank the Lord for Declan Rice. But this is where Jorginho, you start to get nervy for him. Guardiola's done very good, man. Very good there. Akanji. Tactically all over the place. I think defensively we're doing all right. We're getting numbers back. They haven't been able to fashion an opening, even though City have the quality to do that. But if the game was to end now at 0-0, I think we'd be disappointed because we haven't necessarily offered anything. Rodri, ooh, Haaland's on his back. That's a ball from Rodri into Guardiola. As I said, Guardiola's had a positive half, man. Hopefully not too much. Ooh, it's a good ball into Phil Foden. We're in trouble. Rico Lewis. Fortunately, his age has come into question there because there was a ball right to Bernardo Silva there. We would have been in all leaps of problems. Odegaard finds Bukayo Saka. Ref! That's a yellow card for Kevin. I'm not going to lie to you lot. That is a soft free kick we've been given. But as an Arsenal fan, we need that. It is a foul. It is a foul. Feels like the counter-attack is, is going to be our only joy today. Just need a bit more belief, man. And it's a bit of a culture shock, I guess, for our players because we've been battering teams up and down the country, relatively having it all our way. And now we're kind of on paper. Well, in fact, well, yeah, we are the inferior side typically against E. So we do have to pay some necessary taxes in that regard. Raya's gone long to kick him, Raya, man. It's normally great. It's horrible, man. Kai, like, I understand it. Trying to find Kai Havertz, but you have to give him a chance. Jorginho, we're never getting a free kick for that. Uncle tried. Ref to throw weren't there. Look, stealing a couple yards there. Not great, not bad. We need speed on the flanks. I love that Clarice money well spent. Need to test Ortega. Amen. White been doing a good job so far today. Long may it continue. And that's the end of the first half, folks. What have we made of that so far? I mean... I'm not ecstatic. I'm not unhappy. It's been a real low-key affair anyways. You know, there's been two shots on target. Couldn't even tell you the two shots. So I guess one's technically Ake's. And I definitely couldn't tell you which Arsenal shot was on target. Where possession's concerned, obviously, City have been dwarfing us in that regard. They've had 72% of the ball. We've had 28. So, boy. Bit flat. Low key affair, but as I said, and you'd imagine again, we're gonna have to suffer in games like this. Hopefully, we've done the suffering. Like, it would be nice to kind of give City a bit of a culture shock in this game, like, come out a bit more fiery. I mean, you can't be naive, but it's, it's I wouldn't call it timid, but quote unquote timid. I'm not happy with generally the distribution of Raya and Saliba in particular. I think they're better than what they're doing. But they're not playing like it. Counter looks like the only way that we can potentially live. So, boy, it is what it is in that regard. Boy, sorry, folks. Been told my package is delivered and I'm the only one here. One second, folks. I'll be back in just a sec. Let me know what you lot make of the game. Again, I don't want no one to teeth it. They pull it in the recycling bin, which is annoying. Shall I brighten up the mood with a screamer? Yes, I should. <laughs> I could never play for Arsenal. That recovery run back upstairs has killed me, folks. But yeah, what have we made of this so far?
for a firecracker in weekend of football. Ours has been a low key affair, ain't it? Very, very low key affair. Which I don't mind. I'm not against the point. I understand the Arsenal fans. I want to win. If you can't win, don't lose. But yeah, man, we're a bit timid. So it is what it is. Part A fit, get him on. It is a day for the subs. It is a day for the subs. Kirill getting bullied by Silva and Jesus continues to open up the striker conversation. To be fair, not playing up front today, though. I don't think it, even team can be as basic and laboured in the second half. As a neutral, I wish it was at the Emirates again. It would have been much more progressive from both teams. Allow it, man. <laughs> Boy, to be fair, Kirill's come through it. He does look like, I wouldn't even say the weak point, because I don't think he is playing to a lesser level than anyone, but... You do fear for Kirio necessarily because Bernardo looks like he fancies that. I think so far we've dealt with the Haaland test, but all he needs is one opportunity. Kevin De Bruyne is playing in the pockets. I think Foden kind of woke, woke up to a degree towards the second half. That Guardiola left back's having far too much joy. I would say from a City perspective, I don't know if Mikel Arteta expected their build-up play to kind of consist of what they're seeing. Like Again, where's the tactics board? Because there's, there's no need for this really, but we've Got time. Again, let me know your thoughts. Uh, how would I make this happen? Again, not to scale people. Like, if you want proper tactical analysis videos, wait till I bring them out. But if we just assume that this is Ortega, obviously, in terms of build-up play, let's just call this, let's just say my man's Guardiola. He's like here. Kovacic is dropping here. And I don't think we expected that, people. I don't. I really don't think we expected that. Simultaneously, you have Rodri typically stood next to someone else here. So when we're going to press, again, forget the numbers, man. You've got Saka there. You've got Odegaard in the pockets. You know, Havertz is more than likely there. And don't you... Well, you had... You obviously had another player in the Kanji. The Kanji's kind of operating there. Now Rico Lewis is... They, they change things. But I just think they're getting out of it. And I think it's Kovacic in particular, folks. Like, it's that ball. And that's helping them. And we're not pressing together. They're, just, they're literally just cutting us open. If Trossard had that Hazy's chance, he would have scored. He might have. I don't doubt it, but like he did it, didn't it, really? And it is a game for the subs. Trossard, Martinelli, Tomiyasu, Partey, you lot need to get whooped slightly. Maybe I don't quite believe this in Jenga one, but maybe even Zinni. Maybe even Zinni. Where's my drink? There you go. This is a game for Martinelli and Enketi at that pace. I hear you on the Martinelli thing. Looks like we're playing counter-attacking, but the long ball's not hitting the markers. Odegaard needs to gel with Kai. Seems like they're not on the same wavelength. If that was Zinni, the knives would be out for him. Tommy Asu for Kirior, I think. It, it could be. It's a game for the subs and also cities as well, man. It is a game for the subs. It's so far, so good, isn't it? Like, I think the one positive I would say at halftime is... We're more looking at what we're not doing. It's not a thing where, oh, you know what, bloody hell, City, take nothing away from City. Like, we should be a couple of goals down. I do think they should be winning, even though you look at the number, the numbers in terms of shots, there's nothing in it. But they've been in and around our box a lot more. Ake definitely should have scored that header, but fortunately it didn't. So surely it's only up for me. I hope so, anyways. Not really seeing enough though, but it's we knew it's gonna be an ugly, an ugly performance in that regards, man. In truth, I'd say Sack has been the weakest link so far, and too much midfield ground to cover for Rice by himself. I hear it. But that's where you're looking at Kai Havertz, Odegaard to kind of double up the numbers, and you're kind of gambling on the facts of Gabriel and Saliba. They're like physical specimens, they're quick, they might be able to get you out of trouble. But to be fair, I, I hear you and I have thought that, but Jorginho's not not been in the right places. Jesus, man. The guy's a lovely footballer, man. But when it comes to scoring and these things... Shout out Queen of the South. Just saw her comment. Part of the furniture. Tim will be better than Zinni and Kirio. I believe so as well, but he's not here today, bro. So it's irrelevant. I'm not saying you're wrong, but it's irrelevant. Like, we can only deal with what's there. It's going to be the same kind of game against Bayern. It's so important we take our chances. It's been a hard game. City proving to be... Worth their soap, their quality team. Outside of the AK chart, City haven't done anything. I'd think nil nil is probably just about fair. But if we went into it at half time losing one nil because of AK's goal, I couldn't really complain. As I said, I think the biggest thing I would say is at least it's a thing where we're not scared of City as great as they are. We're just asking us to turn up a bit. 
Mm. I'm more scared if Grealish comes on for City. I mean, City could break your heart at any given moment, man. But I do think we need to make it a bit nervy for them. And our te- and new subs are going to be worth it. Saka has been non-existent on that right-hand side. And Ryan stopped pinging the ball to him. He's not going to win the header. Pardon me. I hear it. But at the same time, we're not doing nothing on the ball. So there's nothing really and truly to waffle at. All the gods, you know, press quite well on occasion. But there's nothing to waffle about with all the gods. Saka, I agree. Very quiet. Don't know he's there. Jesus, you've put yourself about. But you're not doing the business. Declan Rice is, you know, Declan Rice and Jorginho are okay, but in an attacking sense, we're not waffling about that. Only one I would say I'm happy with in an attacking third is probably Benjamin White. Like, I can't ask anything more of you. Kai Havertz is doing what he can. I don't think anyone's playing terrible. It's just the standards need to go up, and it's from front to back. Our first defender is the striker. Our first attacker is the keeper. And right now, the ball playing from Raya and the defenders is not on par. We're not pressing together or whatever we're committing to. So we just got to thank our blessings. We it, it could be better. It definitely could, but it could be a lot worse. We've been how many times have we rocked up to the Etihad and the games over way before the first, the end of the first half? Probably the first ten. Love for the super chat, my boy. Zinni is our best left back. Period. Let's be real here. I don't know, man. It depends, but I do think Kirill. A lot of people get at Kirill, not Kirill. Sorry, people do a lot of a bit too much with Zinni. So boring, like watching paint dry. Means we're cancelling him out. Saka's not pulling up any trees. But remember, Saka did have a knock coming into the game, but we're not offering nothing. Right? Saka's not been isolated against Gwaldi. I'll neither on the right hand side with a Kanji and Jesus like that. Like we forced the issue a couple of times. Yeah, Eri's a terrible package service to use. Pretty much like the community shield game. That's true. City have given the ball away a few times. We have to capitalise on those mistakes. You're, fu- you're fully right, bro. But it's one of them ones where you wish that you... Signs in my eye. Sorry, folks. You wish, you wish, you wish you could be in the dressing room and just hear what's being said from both teams. Odegaard Anonymous, what a surprise. Can't keep defending him. Harsh. Harsh. And if you're saying, and I'm not saying you're wrong because nobody's right, no one's wrong. But if you're saying Odegaard's anonymous, then what player isn't? Like, who really is? If the game ends right now, who can we really say, oh, he had a great game? I think Benjamin White's done okay. I think Saliba on the ball's been terrible, but so far, Gabriel and Saliba, you've been switched on against Haaland. I think Declan, you've been, a couple parts have been shaky, but you're doing the Declan stuff. I just think everybody needs to raise their standards, man. I think Kirio, someone needs to sit you down and you're not playing poorly, but you need to remember your, your, your food. You know, they're looking at, not even this you, Kirio, they're looking at you in particular and thinking we can get at you. You've done all right. Be better. Saliba and Gabriel, raise it. Raya, get the passing spot on. Change, you and Saka, for that matter. Raya and Saka, change your boots. Get some studs on because you're falling on the floor too much. Havertz, not really got chat for you because it's one of them you're just having to muck in and just work with what you can Gabriel Jesus the finishing is, is horrible it'd be nice if he could have scored but who else has had chances so as much as I think Jesus is quite comical you in the final third at least you fashioned your own efforts but it's not good enough from anyone I got a fever this weekend worse I felt in years a Rodri Rocket will put the final nail on the coffin hey right, chill 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 wishing you best of health man DG you keep Kirill versus Bernardo or out of Zinni versus him. I think I'd be drawing for Tommy Asu. You might draw for Zinchenko, God forbid, if we go a goal down and we're chasing the game and you're kind of committing to that. But mm. I just think Kirill, if he hasn't got a yellow already, he's going to have to take one for the team. And we got to remember, like, there's subs that Pep, that Pep can make and there's also little things he could do to change. Like, he could put Bernardo anywhere he, he fancies. Oh, where's that comment going? Someone said this is City's home ground. There we go. This is City's home ground, but Arsenal needs to do better. Arsenal need that Nelly outlet to take on the pressure and carry attack more effectively. Maybe Reese if Nelly isn't available. And I hear you, and you're not wrong, but let's just say Nelly comes on. Let's just say for Gabriel Jesus. What is there to suggest Martinelli is going to do any better? And I'm not saying he won't. I'm not saying to keep Jesus on, but what's our midfield doing? They're not getting fed the ball. None, none of these players in the final third are being given the ball. Yeah, Martinelli's the sort of guy to force the issue, to get his head down and run like a headless chicken and make something happen. But 
it's a bit like what Cam's saying here. There's little to no... I'm not expecting you to control the midfield against Manchester City, but in terms of what we can do, progressing from the defensive third to theirs, ain't been good enough. So it don't really matter who is on in an attacking sense. As I said, take, not saying you shouldn't get at Gabriel Jesus missing those efforts, but he's had to force the issue. Man said, DG, go woke me up from that snore fest. I told you, look, this wasn't... Well, the second half could come to life, but you, there's no way you could watch Arsenal City for the last few encounters and think this is, was going to be a great spectacle, like a prime Arsenal against a prime Barcelona. It's two tactical masterminds just cancel each other out. Really. Saka looks like he's carrying a knock. We have to come out the block second half, have more of the ball and do our thing. Good half, City have had the ball, but they haven't done anything. And that's where, again, off the ball, we've done what we can. Boring game, too tactical, no football. To be fair, when it comes to Arsenal, I always say I want boring. I don't really want us to stand out. I just want us to get three points. If this was a neutral kind of game, then yeah. We've learned well from our dark art friends, Porto, hopefully. We had City number at home. I couldn't expect any different first half and we're still alive. Like you said, we're still alive, man. If you haven't subscribed or smashed the like button, you know what you need to do. Oh, Fraser Clark's boxing now. It's a good night for sport, isn't it? Good Sunday for sport, really. Hmm. Ah, hopefully the second half. Hopefully the second half is more joyous for us Arsenal fans. Jesus is not really a 90-minute player. Sometimes better as a sub. Team looks disjointed. Someone needs to tell Ake that this isn't a friendly. He doesn't need to fake injury. To be fair, though, with a game of this magnitude, I don't think, and if, unless it was something serious, he would have come off, man. Being outclassed, trusts are a better option than Jesus for me, dominated in midfield. You'd imagine these lot are going to get on soon. I wonder if there will be any subs. Do you know what? I'm going to take a wild guess. I don't know who, but something just tells me. Yeah, Nelson isn't in the squad, actually. Something just tells me, apologies, folks, that. Arteta's going to make a sub at half time. To be fair, and that's why Arsenal, if you really are getting 30 million shouts for the likes of Reese Nelson from Brighton, you probably need to do it. Like when the real players are fit respectfully to Nelson, you're not in the squad. You're actually not in the squad. And like, is there anybody that I would drop from the bench on paper right now? Ramsdale, Smith Rowe, Tommy Asuzinchenko, Vieira. Trossard, Martinelli, and Nketi or Julian Alvarez could come on and ruin our day. Is there anyone I would swap out for Nelson? Not maybe, do you know what? Ironically, I think Smith Rowe's a better player, but maybe just Smith Rowe because of Nelson's pers uh, personality on the football pitch or just the type of player he could be according to what happens. I I'll keep Enketia because he's a pure striker. Martinelli, Trossard, goes without saying. Have we made any changes? We're doing the team huddles. Come on, boys. If you're going to do the huddles, play seriously, man. Trossard still on the bench. Zinni still on the bench. I don't know. Oh, my prediction has gone. I don't think. I don't think he's made any changes. I mean, it'd be crazy for for Timber to come on because he's not in the squad. And that's crazy. If Timber is fit, who is not in the squad for this game? Someone's got to miss out. Pardon me. Obviously, Arsenal kicked off the first half. These lot will kick off the second. Phil Foden getting ready to restart proceedings when the ref says he can, and he has. And it's straight back to Ortega. It's becoming a theme. Is he going to go long or play it short? Let's see what this second half has to say, folks. Kovacic dropping that left centre-back and pushing Guardia out wide makes it tough for Saka, but he needs to raise it. And they could be in here. Bernardo Silva. Jesus has just lumped it. I hope Gabriel Jesus has been given a decent return by the City fans, man. You know, he's part of the furniture there for a while. Arsenal's worries begin if and when Doku comes on. I mean, the last thing you want to do is play against pace when you're tired. But hopefully Benjamin White can deal with him as, as he's been doing. Come on, boys, man. Second half so far has kind of kicked off how the first one was. The City with possession, really. And nothing for us to really say. Hopefully, though, as both teams get tired, it opens up and it evens up. But, boy... We just need a mistake, man, to bring us to life. Just a mistake from City. Speaking of that, Ortega, Gabriel Jesus has nicked it. But then his de attempted delivery has been equally as poor. Saliba wins the header. Obviously, Havertz is offside. Boys, what, City are falling off. They're sleeping here. Come on, Jorginho. Both of us are asleep. We're in trouble. It's four against four. Bernardo Silva's been forced out wide. Hopefully, he doesn't make anything happen. Between Jesus and Kirio, you don't need to deal with that. What's going on? Bernardo Silva. Oh, Rico Lewis has turned Havertz. Foden. 
I don't source us. I thought they were going to source us. Kovacic goes for the goal. I don't boy me. All right, fortunately, it's 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 whistled wide, but come on. City are trying to get goal of the season. Can tell that's a lovely turn by Rico Lewis. How about sent for a bagel? Folden tapped it first time into a teammate. The shot was on. It's not a bad effort from Kovacic. But come on, boys. Don't you, man, want to do that? Hey, if that went in, that would have been a great team move. Fortunately, it didn't. And that's probably the first time I've seen Kovacic near our area. He's just been like a centre-back today. Good competing by Kai Havertz, but he's beaten in the air by a Kanji. And it's here with the City keeper, Otega. Otega swiped his left peg at it. Come on, boys. Harlan up against Gabriel. Hands down, man. Harlan exaggerate. Oh, ref, ref. Did you, is he called an advantage? Never. This guy is a cunt, bro. Your boy in it, man. He's got ponytail, ref. He's not serious. They're both doing it. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other. I'm not going to lie. Gabriel's pulling this shirt still. But a big lump like Harlan, bro. You definitely didn't have to drop to the floor. Oh, the God. What's that, bro? Oh, I tell you, I'm not going to lie. You see why we need another six? And then maybe a little eight. Games like this. Rico Lewis in possession. Second half is kicked off. Kicked off how the first one has left. Rodri gliding forward. Harlan dropping deep. Declan Rice, man on. Lovely Declan. Gabriel Jesus, lovely, lovely Brazilian. Doing too much. What do I know? He's still got it. Declan Rice, played boys. Kirill, be strong. Lovely. Gabriel, first bit, I'm finally happy as an Arsenal for happy is an exaggeration, but at least we're, this is what we're meant to be doing. Pass the ball. Saliba, don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. Finds Bakayo Saka. Saka back to Saliba. Back to the basics, boys. Saliba, what are you doing? Saliba. It's cool. Raya. See, we're lumping it long, man. Havertz is in the trenches. Lovely Kai. Lovely Kai. Oi, Kai. Unlucky. So, ref, that's a free kick. There's no difference between that and Haaland's. Come on, man. Your quality, ref. Come on. You're, you're boying it. All we want is some consistency. Every now and again, it feels like the tide might change for us. But yeah, man, we're just it's too slow for us, really and truly. But let's just keep going. <sighs> Akanji, there's a lot of time on the board. And I'm not saying we should press them relentlessly because you do that, you're going to get tired. They're going to take advantage of you. And then it's a wrap. We've been here before. We've worn the T-shirt. But it just feels like we need to go up a gear. Saka's done very well against Kovacic. Win the foul, Saka. Be strong. Be strong. Lovely. Ref, lovely. Ref, how many? Ref, come on, Roger. Great advantage. There's no advantage. Have, there's never going to be an advantage with Kai Havertz on the attacking move. Big up, Kai. Just play the free kick, ref. I hope you're booking him. And Saka is still down. <sighs> Consistency, ref. I hope you're booking Roger because he's got nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. To be fair, the rest let a lot go. Bukai Osaka finds Martin Odegaard. Come on, boys, man. Come on, boys. Prove you belong to sit at this table. Martin Odegaard. Jorginho, come on. Odegaard. Oh, yeah. oh, unlucky. Unlucky. He's tried to play in behind for Havertz. There's just too much on it. But that's better. When have we said that before, folks, today? In 50 minutes? We haven't. Finally, a bit of showing us what Arsenal's been about this year. Ortega's gone long. Come on, Saliba. I know you're there. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. Kirill, relax. Be brave. Be brave. Thank you. Come on, boys. Raya. Nah, you're asking a lot of Jesus there to be. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to make a scene. I do think he's offside. Jesus, I thought he was offside. I thought he was offside. I mean, the manager, Mikel... You know what I'd like? Mikel Arteta don't believe it was an offside, so I'm going with my manager. But I did think he was offside. Boys, again and again, Rico Lewis, lovely player, but he's young. Get at him, there. Ortega finds Rodri. <sighs> Diaz. Folding. Lovely, Ben. Lovely, Ben. Lovely. Saliba. Lovely. Odegaard. Come on. Come on. Saka. Pull it across. Oi. 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 Oh. How? 
Oh, Saka's pull it right across. Jesus has thrown everything he can at it, but he's just not long. His legs ain't long enough. Why? Hey, Declan Rice, where are you? That's two lovely tackles by Jorginho and a third by Odegaard. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Don't know how we ain't been booked yet. Not going to cap. City been moaning from the start of the game. It seemed to be fair like the ref's trying to let these things go. I thought we did it. I thought we bagged people, man. And that come from bravery and pressing. Benjamin White, Saliba, Odegaard, Saka, lovely. <sighs> Do you know what? It's behind Jesus. But it's them kind of chances that you need to take in games like this. That's our... Well, yeah, that probably is our first clear-cut chance. Harlan's had his pocket pick. Oh, fuck. How many fouls is he going to give for Harlan? You're boying it now, ref. Sorry for the frustrating, ref. frustration, people. But come on. You lot are seeing this yourself. Seven foot lump like Harlan. And you're getting a foul for that? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Quality player. Made a cotton candy today for as good as he is. There's no way a lump like Hughes going down from that. Ref, come on. They're selling dreams and you're buying them consistently. Guardiola in possession for City. Go on, have a, Go on, have a, Go on, have a, Saka together. Yes, yes. That's ours, ref. Slightly it's theirs. I won't lie. Oh, it's been given to us. Saka's taking it early. Kai Havertz are doing the bandulu. Nope. In fact, it's actually theirs. The game's been stopped. You wonder, man. Them kind of game, them kind of opportunities there in games like this. You wonder if you don't put those away, is it going to be a day? Keep going, boys. Lovely Odegaard. Saka wins it. A couple times we've nicked it, Saka. That was Buki, but it's cool. Don't foul him. Don't foul him. Saka, take hand off him. Don't foul him. That's ours, ref. Boys, better, 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 better. Where was this in the first half, ref? The throw wasn't there. See, you press to get... Thank you. I'll take a master told them that. You press together, you nick the ball. We've come a long way from that Alexis Sanchez, one headless chicken just running around. Harlem wins the header against Gabriel Ref. Keep Oh, my. Declan Rice, one of the million years in possession. He made up for it against Kevin De Bruyne. And Kirill mops up. Boys, come on. Rice, you're better than that. We ain't got time for that today. Shout out to Havertz for chasing a lost cause. The touch has come off his chin, but yeah. My days, they need to play like it's a Champions League final. Only two of our players know what it's like to play in that, though. And to be fair, a couple of, well, only Saka was, a, Saka was on the bench for Baku, isn't it? Like, no one else was there. Harlan and Gabriel getting into it. All right, go on, Gabriel. Shout out, mate. Shout it. Want to argue with Gabriel? Allow it, man. Crunch him. Rico Lewis, what a player. City just spawning these players out there, academies. For all the money they spend and the stars they have, it must hit different to know Phil Foden and him have come through local routes. And that man in question, Rico Lewis, has found Diaz. What, what role has he got? Like, you, you're playing right back and then you're just running in midfield. The Kanji's doing something else. I'd love Pep to just actually explain what he... Like, we see it, but, like, explain the reasoning behind it and everything. I'll tell you the same, to be fair. Guardiola's pass has been cut out by Odegaard. We just couldn't nick it. City, look, I don't know. Spook's not the right word, but even they're moving a bit mad. That's a lovely ball from Rodri to Bernardo Silva. Kirill's about to get ripped. Bernardo Silva's dropped his shoulder on Gabriel Jesus. Rico Lewis attempting to switch play. I'm getting a bit nervous now. Phil Foden plays it to Guardiola. This is the first time it's, well, first half it did, but this is the first time it's felt a bit like an even contest. Just need to take one of those half chances. Ekanji. Rodri. Why can't Prem be like win this league, man? David Cusin just running away. Why couldn't we be them? Kevin De Bruyne and Acres of space on this right-hand side. Kirill, be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Don't dive in. Just be strong. Be strong. Don't stop. Don't stop. Unlucky. It's a corner, boys. Please. Pep, I think you should take off Kevin, man. He, he looks knackered. He looks knackered. He looks knackered. Arsenal's belief is pumping through the veins now. Really stepped up further up the field. Just don't want to get over eager. Fair enough. And you're right, man. You don't want to get a bit too overconfident. Phil Foden to take this in-swinging corner. It's a good corner. Benjamin White's head is not the best. We've dealt with it. 
Haaland calling offside for no reason. I hope the flag comes up. Of course, it's not. City still have the ball. Shout out the Arsenal women for winning the Conti Cup in extra time. Big them up. Silverware setting. Spurs could never. Kovacic. Lewis. And it begs the question, not that all of them necessarily need to come on, but how many minutes does a Tommy Yassi, a Thomas Partey, all these guys have? This is not for the fate hearted. We're at 277 likes, people. We're flirting with 300. It's crazy. Somewhat back in the game. Somewhat back in the game. Kovacic dropping at left. Oh, sorry, I've already seen that. It's getting scary, man. That's me, the hype DG fans have forgotten. This is how we frustrated City three out of three times. I hear that. That's a good point. But I do think it's a bit of both that we're frustrating them, but. Need to puff out our chest a bit. And you spoiled me, Arsenal, recently. We've been scoring goals for fun. Raya's tried to find Havertz. It's been dealt with on that occasion. Oh, Gab Gabriel and Saliba, lovely, man. And you know what? Haaland is a, he just needs one opportunity, but you've got to spare a thought for him. You're fighting with Gabriel. Then you've got Saliba there. Speaking of Saliba, finds Raya. Boys, be brave. Be brave. No one be a hero. What's Raya done there? He's tried to kick it into the channels. Jesus. Appealing for a foul, ref ain't going for that. Odegaard trying to lead the press. Boys, if if the captain goes, you all have to commit together, man. Kovacic. Shout out Jorginho, he's trying, man. He's trying in the defensive third. It's the first time I've seen Odegaard and Saka do the pressing thing. Benjamin White up against Phil Foden. Foden's brilliant in the pockets, isn't it? Gets it back to Guardio. Guardio, I don't know if he did. He genuinely tried to find Foden there. Foden's done well to find Rodri. Rodri, these guys are lit. No panicking. And he's found Rico Lewis. Boys, this is looking a bit scary. I'll be disappointed if they score here. Bernardo Silva up against Kirill. He ripped him again. Bro, Bernardo. Okay, Kirill's won it back, but Bernardo Silva is something else, man. Jorginho, what's that, bro? Jorginho, what's that? It's back here with Haaland. Jorginho, please. Foden, Rodri. Oh, thank the Lord. Who blocked that? I think Gabriel even took out his own player. Oh, gosh. I hey, Gabriel took out Benjamin White. He's a madman. Boys, they're not going to put the ball out for our player. Soldier that, man. Soldier that. Losing hurts more than that. Phil Foden and Harlan. Playing one twos. Ref, stop it. Ref, stop it. Foden's always dropping on the floor, man. Rolling around. Oh, we should have been on the bench instead of trust out to be honest we need pace against city's backline i wouldn't feel confident with without the option of bringing on trust up i genuinely believe the first half plan was to weather the storm everyone needs to relax fold them being quiet but these attacking players got the best gig they're quiet forever go down the other end in the 90th minute and bag no one cares anymore Kevin De Bruyne's body language thinks he's a he's a brilliant player though, ain't he? Hope we can nick this victory. But every time City have the ball, every time they're fouled, I get a bit panicky. Hands, boys. Ref, look what look at Rodri. Kevin De Bruyne delivers. Kai Havertz defends it, but the ball's still alive in our box. Folding brings it down. Rico Lewis, quality player, doesn't look 17 or whatever. Ooh, fortunately for us. Kevin De Bruyne has had an off day and I don't know what pass he was trying to play there, but I'm happy with that. Best performance at the Etihad for years. We've got to wait, man. we got, oh gosh, okay. Let the games begin. Jack Grealish and Jeremy Doku coming on. Kovacic is coming off. So is Bernardo Silva going to go in there? Ooh, folding off. I mean, you'd imagine Grealish... I mean, Grealish could be playing centrally today, but you imagine he goes on the left. But then you could put Grealish on the right up against Kirio. But if I was Pep Guardiola, I would rather Doku up against Kirio, really, just because of how Doku tries to play. We'll have to see. And very rarely do you see Pep make a double substitution relatively early into the game. We're at the hour mark, half an hour left, man. Both teams have a knack of scoring late goals. Gabriel up against Haaland. 
Kevin De Bruyne is on the move. Thank the Lord for Saliba. He's done enough to slow him down, but Kevin is undeterred. That's ours, ref. Somehow it's there. Saliba switch on. They've taken it early. Odegaard with some good defend. That's ours, ref. And Odegaard's been kicked. Yeah, they did. I right, Tommy Asu. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Tommy Asu coming on. I hope that's not for Ben White because Ben White did get a knock earlier, but. I think we need a specialist 1v1 done. And to be fair, when he came off the bench against City last time, it's one of his best moments this season. And again, the first and second balls, Tommy actually wins a lot of his first ones. Declan Rice and Kevin De Bruyne are toss tussling. Fort Havertz was offside there. Ref don't agree. Odegaard's managed to turn a terrible ball into a half-decent one. He's tried to set sack. It hasn't worked. Guardia, Odegaard, wavy, wavy. Showed them. Please, hey, you lot, stop saying my captain doesn't stand up to be counted. Whether we win, lose or draw. It's a lie. Odegaard is always on this. Look at him. Oh, I can't the commentator. The pass didn't work out. Please. He's a baller, as is Rico Lewis. Skips past one Arsenal shirt. Holds off Gabriel Jesus very well, to be fair, and dispatches it to Grealish. Grealish up against Benjamin White. What can Victoria Beckham bring to the table? Quality player, Grealish. There's some rumours that you want to move him on. He's had a terrible time of injuries this year. Quality player. Akanji. Rodri. He normally breaks our hearts. He found Haaland. Haaland goes for the shot. It's blocked. It's ricocheted off several men. Gabriel gets rid. <sighs> Boy. Guardia. Not looking to stand out as much in the second half as much as he was in the first. He's had a good game. Rodri's done very well. Unfortunately, Kevin De Bruyne couldn't find the man. Saliba's pass to sack is terrible. Boys, come on, man. We're giving it away cheaply. You have to suffer. You have to suffer. It's Man City away. You have to suffer. Come on, Grealish. I mean, Saka, be good against Grealish. That's never a foul ref. He's looking for that. Ref, he's looking for that. Saka didn't mean it. Come on, he's a good guy. Saka's a good one. He's one of them. He's one of the good ones. Has he caught him? Yeah, he has still. He has. He has. And that is painful. He's trod on his boot. I mean, we've got two agendas. Either we win or Fingy comes off and City wins. So there's a folding agenda. Tommy Asu and Partey will be entering the field. You'd imagine Kirio and Jorginho, but you never know. Why is Jesus talking to Harlow? Stop bedding. Stop bedding. Tell him to suck his mum, man. Shush, man. Oh, I'll bring my dad to the games. You're a quality player, but you bring your dad light, man. And better than you light, man. Please, stop. You're a quality player. Shush, man. Shush. Talk too much. Shush. Shush. Do too much of that. Odegaard wins the header. Grealish and Saka in the race. Oh, we almost got there. Grealish does well to get there. Bernardo Silva. It's you who's going to ruin stuff. Thomas Partey's coming on when... Well, I'm sure whenever the ref lets us. Doku, who's gone out to this right-hand side against Kirill. Bernardo Silva, Rodri. So many heartbreakers in the City team. Pep makes offensive subs, we make defensive. I hear it, but... In many ways, part of his ball progression gets a lot out of Declan Rice. And Tommy Asu allows certain players to stay further up the field. I mean... Right, Eddie and Kate. Right, Eddie and Kate and Smith are all trying to do the warm-up team. You lot are not getting seen today, man. Kirio, you survived. Jorginho. Jorginho, come out of it an hour. You ain't looked out of place. Kirio, you survived. Couple moments. It was mad, but you survived. You didn't, you haven't lost any credibility. So get some confidence. Thomas Partey, Tommy Asu, we need you lot. Depending on how you lot play, you might have earned a start for the looting game. Come on, boys, man. I'm smelling a Martinelli late goal. But to be fair, I'm surprised there's no there's been no cards in this game. But I have to respect it from the it is refreshing to just let a game flow and feels like in the early 2000s, just letting the game flow, managing the the occasion potentially. I think both teams have got away with madness. A kanji in the air is a myth, but the second ball's been won by Declan Rice. Ref, come on, that's the evident. How? How has Rodri won that? How? He's cleaned him out. I can't lie, Rodri. I applaud the dark hearts. I don't think there's a bigger bastard in the Premier League than Rodri. Pardon my French. I don't think there is. And I respect it. Who's he giving the yellow to? Gabriel Jesus for bringing on the football. Jesus, that was silly. 
That was silly, Jesus, weren't it? Just as you said, there's been no yellows. Now the ref said, forget all of that. Diaz. Ekanji. Go on, the God. Go on. Together, together, boys. I mean, you got Bernardo Silva in the build-up play now, man. Kind of taking over what Kovacic was doing. Slightly different, but more or less the same thing. Ortega tries to find young Rico Lewis. It meets the head of Jesus. Will be a throwing for City on this right-hand side. I mean, the worst way to win or lose a game like this is a late goal, man. Come on, Pep, man. You've won enough of these Prems. You've won enough of these prems. Let Arteta grab this one, man. It makes you look good. He worked with he worked with you. He actually listened in class. Ten Hag couldn't have been listening. Bernardo Silva, player, man, player. Sometimes I actually think he's underrated. Then, uh, to be honest, I think he's one of the most, still one of the most underrated players in the prem. It's weird because he gets his plaudits. Everyone knows he's a great player and whatnot, but. I don't think he's spoken about all the time like a Foden is, a Kevin De Bruyne is. I don't like, in terms of what he offers, he's a wonderful player. Always, I mean, in the summer, you can bet your bottom dollar will be linked with Barcelona or them kind of clubs. If you haven't subscribed or smashed the like button or subscribed with Amazon Prime for the Twitch gang, what are you doing? What have, what have we made of the game so far? How do you lot think this is ending? How are you lot feeling? Let me know. Guardiola has the ball, people. Twisting and turning, bobbing and weaving. Diaz. Rodri's found Rico Lewis. That is a foul from Declan Rice. He's late. Rodri, shout out. Rodri, shout out. Ref, you can't spot it and play it there. What's going on? Jeremy Doku up against Tommy Assi. Oh, too easy, Tommy. Oh, this is... Okay. Fortunately... Decision making horrible, and it's that man Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz doing too much. We've lost it in a dumb place. Oh, Saliba, most important tackle of the game, and then we've lost it again. I we're not serious. We're not serious. We're not serious, and my heart can't take this. We're winning the ball back, and we're giving it away cheaply on the edge of our home area. Jack Grealish has somehow found Bernardo Silva. These lot are ridiculous. Bernardo Silva. These lot are scary, man. Especially when they're in your own half. Oh my God. All right, thank you, Benjamin. Just hook it clear, man. Stop being heroes. That's all. Serious touch by Guardio. Come on, boys. Come on, together. Together. Losing the discipline. I'm getting nervous, man. Ekanji. It's like we're very hot and cold. We don't know whether to stick or twist. Bernardo Silva doesn't get it from Kevin De Bruyne. He's asking for him to switch it. Not doing it. Instead, he's found Rodri. Lewis. Audio. I mean, we've held our shape well. The technical level and stuff we've come to expect of our team, not been there today. I don't think it's ended nil-nil, man. I don't think there's a share of the spoils here, man. Genuinely amazed if, we, if it ends with a share of the spoils. Bernardo Silva, Grealish. I mean, if they're selling Grealish, we'll have him. Switches playing fine. Doku, the two subs link up. I don't know why we're appealing for offside. He's not offside. Doesn't want to take on Tommy Asu. Rodri to Akanji. Guardio. Is he going to go for the shot? Doesn't elect for that. Kevin De Bruyne, this guy just gets into pockets. He's delivered across. Saliba's headed it out. Martin Wondergaard. Oh, that's poor Odegaard, man. Havertz can't do anything with that. Doku. Bro, it feels like the time's turning. Whoever scores, whoever scores wins the game now, bro. It's looking like a City one. Ref, what's that? That's the maddest obstruction from Bernardo Silva. And ref, ref, if you don't book him, come on. That's two incidences, ref. It's so smart by Bernardo Silva. It's so frustrating for me. Trossard's coming on. Hey, Zeus, I hope it's you in it. Havertz has to stay on. What happened to Trossard's hand? So bandaged that weapon. I trust the manager, but I, you can't take off Kai Havertz. Hey Zeus, six out of ten performance. Hopefully, he was given a warm reception. 
by the City fans. Jesus, facts. It's cool, man. It's cool. Shut up. Come on, bro. Super sub settings. Thomas Partey will restart when the ref will allow him. Goes all the way home to Rail. Giving it away very cheaply. Doki. Also giving it away cheaply. Tross up. New boots. Oh, sent Doku for a bagel. Safe. Tommy Asu. Oh, Tommy, that touch was Bandulu. That's come off them, ref. That's come off them, ref. They know it as well. That's a corner. Come on, set piece FC. Let's go. Not going to lie, Jesus. That was more. What Trossard just did there was more effective than everything we've seen today, you know? Very slyly. It's cool, dog. It's a team game. Every time you always say that it never ends nil-nil, maybe it could be a positive omen then, mate. Come on, Rice, man. Just get on the money. We've got Benjamin White, Saliba, Havertz, Tommy Asu, Gabriel. All the tall dons in the box. Saka on the edge of the area. Trossard just in the mix for some reason. That's cool. Declan, come on, man. You're getting stage fright. Normally, your set pieces are wonderful. That was horrible. Odegaard to Saka. Don't bottle it. Don't lose that. Saka to Trossard. Got Bernardo Silva on him, does well. See, this is how a man should be moving like Trossard. Saka, doing the same skill Trossard did. He inspired him. Thomas Partey. Mad. Thomas Partey's playing, people. This is crazy. Gabriel. Raya, Gabriel wants. Gabriel wants. Don't be here with Raya, please, man. That was dead, see? At Saka, we said this at half time. Change your boots, man. How much time has he fallen on the floor today? He's not alone, but come on. A kanji. I can't believe a kanji from Dortmund's come to come to Manchester City and he's just stopping on the ball in the middle of the park and everyone's respecting it. Pep is crazy. <sighs> you know, I, I hope for the best, I prepare for the worst. At this point, I'm hoping for a point I'd love to win. I'm I'm prepared for that late city inevitability, even though I want to be wrong a hundred percent. Saka's dilly dallying. Dilly dallying on the ball today, Saka, man. Gabriel wins the header. It's falling to Kevin. Fortunately, Kevin's lost his feet. Saka. Bro, Saka, man. I don't know what, what Saka turned up today. This ain't the Saka, I know. You didn't go sleep today. Guardia. He's got a million years on the ball in the box here. He's done very well. Where's his City options, you would ask? The ball's cannoned off an Arsenal man and it's found Grealish. Jack Grealish, this is scary, man. Kevin De Bruyne, oh gosh. Ref, there's a foul off the ball. The cross hasn't come to anything. Jeremy Doku, please mess it up for your team. Oh, good little turn from him. Saka Manon, oh, Saka Manon. Saka, what are you doing? Broski, Broski, Saka. Oi, oi, wake up now. How many times is Saka going to do? If you're injured, come off. Please, Gaffer, he's moving gingerly. Saka's got to come off. Oi, Saka, go down. Go down. It's a corner kick. And we doing to Benjamin White? Bernardo, shut up. You don't want it, man. Why are you giving all of this? See you next Tuesday. You're a brilliant footballer. Ben White will smack you up. Forget all this treble stuff. Arteta, Saka needs to come off. Quality player. He's moving gingerly. Come off, man. How many times have we just needed to clear our line? Saka is dilly-dallying. He's watching Hudson Odoi videos. Corner kick to City. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hey, Raya. Raya. I thought that corner was going all the way in. <sighs> we need to calm. Love Saka to bits. Ref, come on. Why? Why? What happened? And there's no way that set piece would have been legitimately allowed. Look how much fouling there's, there is going on there. Shout out, Raya, because you were strong there as well. Saka, come on, man. Either wake up or tell the gaff you need to come off, man. I don't want to see that. Come, man. Saka, quality player. Today changes nothing, but it's about what you're doing on the day, man. Havertz been the best player through the front three. And respectfully to Havertz, it's because of the... Yeah, that, winning a header. I feel so sorry for Havertz. He's won headers and nobody's been near him. He's reliant on the service. Lovely touch by Trossard. De Declan Rice, man, come on. Lovely. Odegaard, please. Odegaard. Odegaard's tried to pull it in behind. Boys, win it back. Win it back. Partey, lovely. Benjamin, lovely. Odegaard, you tried. 
party, just fouled the brand and just foul him. You can take a yellow, just foul him, brother, or uncle. What are you doing, man? You're getting in foot races with crazy players. It's falling to Jeremy Doku, Tommy Asu, please. Doku's gone for the shot, it's deflected. Has it deflected? The ref ain't signal for a corner, boys, please. Party, come on, common sense, uncle, man. Common sense, uncle. What are you doing? Why would you, what possessed you to get in a foot race with Kevin De Bruyne? I know he's not the quickest, but come on, he's faster than you, or at least he attempts it anyways. Oh, thank the Lord, Jeremy Dockery. That Yeah, I was even, I even made you sound better. If you're just listening, it sounded better than it was saying it deflected. Aye, Martinelli, look, aye, Saka, you're my guy, but Arteta, today you've been listening to the, to the, to the live stream. Saka's definitely carrying a knock, man. How much time did you not see him moving gingerly? Yeah, man, we don't need to be here in Saka's injured. You skip out the Luton game, respectfully to Luton. You need to be there for Brighton. You need to be there for every other game. Surely Trossard moves to the right-hand side. Martinelli, don't forget your defensive duties. The one thing I'll say with Martinelli, at least you effing try gamble. Saka, Martinelli, come on. You're another one some of our fans have been talking ish about. Let's go. Today's the day. 77 minutes on the clock. This is... Anxiety levels through the roof. Rise said we're going long. Rai said we're going long. Well, Rai's been booked now, so we're going to have to... Yeah, you know what, Rai? You took it for the team. You took it for the team. But now Rai's actually going to have to take the set pieces properly now. He's been given a yellow. I hear it. Now you can probably do that about three more times before the ref gives you a final warning. Lovely header by Rodri. Fortunately, Saliba's beaten Haaland there. Great play from Partey. And we've... Has he given us the free kick ref? Come on, that's nasty from Haaland. Send him off. Didn't really see it. I won't lie. I hope Saliba's all right. He's holding his face slash head. What happened there? Don't think Harlan's done anything necessarily wrong there. Might need to start dialogue on Saka soon. Never. But yeah, man, we needed to see. Oh, Martinelli's actually come to this right hand side. Martinelli. Saliba. Partey. Oh, he tried to find Martinelli. It weren't that bad. Other guards anticipated the second ball. Low A, hey, my captain. Oi, Martinelli hit it. Ah, oh, it's cannoned off a city, man. Tommy Asu helps it along. Come on, boys, man. Every now and again, we look like we could do something. Declan Rice. <sighs> corner kick. Definitely a corner kick. What are you talking about, Akanji, man? Come on. Stop lying. You know it's a corner. Come on, boys, man. Just one decent chance. Just one. It's, it's, it's not been beautiful, but it's been so ugly. It is beautiful because it's shown we can do this ugly stuff. But it does feel like now someone's going to get robbed. Come on, Declan, man. Please, man. Declan Rice to take the insulin corner. Is Declan offside? I don't think so. He's got a second chance. It's not the best of deliveries. It's headed out by Grealish. Don't know what Thomas Partey is doing, but he's going to need to wake up and wake up soon. Saliba and Gabriel. Ref. How many? Ref. Ref. Oh, my. Hey, Odegaard. Defending brilliantly. Lovely composure by Saliba. It's getting a bit playground football -y. From both teams, really. Declan Rice. Partey. Come on, boys, man. Saliba galloping forward. Oh, 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 oh. Look at Trossard. Look at Trossard on his left-hand side. Oi. Lovely composure from Saliba. <sighs> Odegaard, you're better than that. Oh, ref. Kai Havertz been fouled there. Odegaard, you need to be stronger. That's too easy for Rodri. Oi. Odegaard, my guy, you are going to get booked, but I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. My Capitano, I hear that. I hear that. Doesn't matter what he did. He's our captain. He's cool. Why well, he didn't get booked? All right, Mr. Is, I don't even know this ref. Is it Anthony Taylor, Madley, whatever? Like, who cares about the ref's names? I can't lie. I thought they got to be fouled there, but it's cool. Couple of times the ball in the final third isn't quite there, hasn't been quite there. Oh, Bernardo Silva into Haaland. Grealish, Grealish, twisting and turning, stands it up to the back post. Oh my God, Doku! Hey, thank the Lord for Doku. 
God, don't let me get jinxed. This is not for the faint hearted. It's just who wants it more. As cliche as it sounds, it's who wants it more today, man. As I said before the stream, like great managers, great players from both teams. But if you expected it to be a beautiful game, end to end, filled with excitement and goals, I think you'd be sadly mistaken. We've seen the theme of Pep versus Arteta recently. And isolated to 90 minutes, they ain't been amazing watches. To be honest, final at Wembley, probably the best one. Parties fouled off the ball there, Rev. And Odegaard is. Harlem wins the header. It's brought down by Declan Rice. Trossard's attempted to switch. Mm, I was going to say switch play, but it's like he actually tried to find Kai Havertz then. Saliba so looked a lot better in this second half. Again, hope I ain't jinxed him. That's a ball from Rodri into, into Jeremy Doku. Fortunately, oh, Tommy Asu, that is rustiness. I think he tried to pull it out for a throw and it's ended up going out for a corner. <sighs> corner kick to City. Eight minutes left. If you can't win, don't lose. All right, Pep, man, let's just do this points thing, man. Kevin De Bruyne delivers. Oh, my God, it's headed on. Haaland. Oh, Lord. With the offside flag of went up anyways. And I thought there was a foul again on Arsenal players. Party, man. Uncle, man, that's too easy, bro. It's not even Saliba's man. It would have been yours. Come on, man. Come on. And for my Arsenal players, Guardia winning that header there is unacceptable. Come on. When's this guy bringing on Julian Alvarez? I don't trust you, Pep. Raya's right, gone long. Havertz wins the header. But it's, I feel sorry for you, Havertz, today. What's the point of winning the header? Like, you're, 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 in a nice way, you're struggling because you're up against two good centre-halves. You're winning the header. No one's near you. What's the point? Ortega find, has found Diaz. Guardiola punches it into the channels. <sighs> City have given it away. Saliba. Come on, man. Nobody needs to be a hero. There's six minutes left. Well, people need to be a hero. But like, no one needs to be... No one needs to force being a hero. If it ain't in you, don't do it. Trust up. Rice. Gabriel. Boy, boys. Partey and Tommy, man. You lot are looking like people that ain't played forever. Silly throwing to give to City. Come on. Now is not the time for this. Jeremy Doku. I mean, Odegaard wins it back and then it's back to City and Rodri just effortlessly just drops a shoulder and switches it to the other flank. And now we've got some defending to do. Shout out to Martinelli for busting his, his guts to get back. Oh, Trosser. Okay. Declan Rice. Tommy. Tommy. Simple, please. Partey Manon. Lovely, 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 lovely. Odegaard. Aye. People move. Trosser once. Aye. He's on site. Aye. 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 Can we do it? We're going to do it, innit? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, I saved by Ortega. I right, Grealish has dropped it. He's lost his foot in. Right, how many players are dropping? On the guard as well. What's the groundsman done to this pitch? All right, now we settle for a draw. That could have been us nicking that. That could have been us. Now we it might get nicked from us, boys. Relax. Man City down this right-hand side. It would oh, be a bit of pill to swallow if there's a late goal, man. Jeremy Doku. Oh, my. Kevin De Bruyne delivers. Oh, Saliba wins the header. Be strong, be strong. You can't let Bernardo Silva... Win. Hey, I swear that man got hands on him. That's crazy, Saliba. You can't put hands on him. That's a foul for Havar. Ref, stop taking the piss, man. He's pushed him. Boys, you don't need to play to the whistle as well. If you don't hear the whistle, play on. You're waiting for. And Ref, come on, seriously. There's millions of people watching this game all over the world. You're, you're effing with anxiety levels. It's not nice. It really isn't. Rodri, they're playing on the, around on the edge of our area. Oh, my, it's here with Bernardo Silva. 
Another corner. No Easter egg for the ref. You don't deserve nothing. No fried fish for you. God, please, man, not that last minute dagger to the chest. Ref, look at Akanji on, on Raya, please. Ref, look at what they're doing to Tommy Ash. This is a mad. Diaz is doing madness. They're doing madness, ref. Thank you. Madness. Madness. What's that? And he's giving them a talking to you. Ref, come on. That's madness. Since when could you do that? Start grabbing people in their neck and that. That's crazy, Rev. Arsenal, come on, be strong, please. Please, boys. Don't cheat yourselves, man. Oh, it's taking short. City Court ever. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. Oh. It's lifted to the back post. Harlan, Saliba, no one. Hey, right, Rev, that's ours. We've been fouled. Yep. We were fouled. Relax, boys. Harlan, I hope Harlan's all right. He's holding his head. I'm not quite sure what happened to him. Hope he's all right. We don't want to mess around with head injuries. Bro. That was our chance, man. Odegaard's final ball has been hit and missed today. There, it was spot on. I mean, Trossard done well to earn the shot and just force the keeper to make a save, but... I'm not asking too much where I say collectively that was the chance that we should have scored. We could have done better. Maybe, I, I did, let me know, people. Am I being harsh? I think maybe we should have scored. We could have scored. But, in an attacking sense, Trossard's already been better than Gabriel Jesus and he's been better than Saka. And slightly Havarts, but I, I, I think Havarts has just been doing the Havarts job today. So I don't want to throw him into that. I mean, we don't know how the game's going to end, but I'm sure if it did end 0-0, we're definitely looking back to that chance. You're probably going to look at Ake's chance as well. Pardon me, it looks like there'll be some added on time as well. Unfortunately, Haaland is still down. Hope he's all right, man. Surely just sub him. <sighs> yeah, yeah, he is the <laughs> Julian Alvarez. Looks like he's going to be entering the fray. Trussard took a heavy touch inside that spot. His angle, I think. Yeah, big up Harlem, man. I don't know. Is that the end of his day? I'm a bit confused if he's coming off. Oh, I think he's gone to head of the ball, and Saliba's obviously got there before, and he's kind of caught Saliba. Saliba's head is tough, isn't it, man? Did you feel that? How big Harlan's head is as well. I think Harlan will keep going. See, and people say footballers don't care. Putting his body on the line. Boys, game management, man. Because it's the only thing that will make it more disappointing, like losing it now. Partey wins the header. Everyone's got to work. Tommy Assi. Kai Havertz. Martinelli. Uh, it's a bit dodgy from Martinelli. How, how many? Why? Sorry, people. I can't even see how much minutes has been added on. Like, the TV is turned to the side. Five minutes of added on time, folks. Have we even got any more subs? What? Tommy's come on, Partey's come on, Trossard's come on. I feel like I'm missing someone. I'm too nervous to even count. I'll tell. Might as well just throw in someone, man. To the left hand side with Grealish. Jack Grealish delivers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slightly Gabriel's fouled off the ball. Fouled Harlan off the ball, so it's a smart one. <sighs> this game's not over, man. Come, man, just use the last subs. Jeremy Doc, who's done Brit, we're in trouble. Oh my God, man, I can't take this. It's another corner. I can't take this, man. Boys, come on. And I can't lie, we need to keep our hands to ourselves, man. I'm loving, I'm loving the Harlem versus Gabriel stuff, though, man. Football's gone a bit soft. It's a, a defender that wants to defend, a striker that wants to give verbal. Corner kick to City. 
I don't want to sound pessimistic, but I think everyone's just waiting for that City dagger. Oh, my. I don't know why Akanji... I, I don't care, but Akanji ducked under it. Raya. Raya. You won't get a second yellow. Raya. Hey, Raya. You see you. You're on... You, Sorry, Ramsdale, but like this sort of stuff is where Ram he comes into his own. Can I say the commentator this much? Shut up because he's knocked it off the pitch. Rico Lewis is taking it quickly. Oh, I'm not going to lie. City are trying to get that winner. Saliba's got man of the match. You started crap. I'm not going to lie by your own standards. No, not even crap. Just the passing weren't there. But you woke up. And it's another... I'm not... not Rev, come on. How's Grealish... Rev! Look what, he, look what he's done to Ben White. Shut up, Victoria Beckham, man. Shut up. Absolute wanker. Great footballer. I would love you at Arsenal. Like you as a footballer in general. Just hate you now. Jeremy Doku's pace is a problem. Like, Jeremy Doku, here we go. Don't even think he knows what he's doing. De Bruyne delivers. Oh, my God. Harlan jumping. It scares everyone. Tommy Ass, you got to be stronger than that. Lovely Tommy. My Japanese Swiss Army knife. Declan Rice. No one be a hero. Trust up, man. No, no one be a hero. No one be a hero, Gabriel. What are you doing? Harlan, give chase. Ha sorry, have arts. Give chase. Give chase. Come on. Who's doing it with him? Come on, boys. If you're tired now, imagine what it's going to feel like if you throw this away. If you can't win, don't lose. Live to fight another day. Saliba wins the header. Gab All right, Gabriel and Saliba, I don't want to talk too much. Spartan performance ref. Fuck off, man. Fuck off, man. How has Martin Odegaard fouled him? I thought this was a physical game. He's leaned on him. 100% he's fouled him, people. I'm lying to you lot, and I felt bad. Please, man. Now I'm getting nervous. Rico Lewis. Diaz. <sighs> Doku, Tommy, be strong. Lovely. Disarm him. Lovely, Tommy. Refugees fouled the top Japanese Swiss Army knife. You can't do them shit skills against Tommy. He's been fouled there as well. Hey, right, Tommy. Tommy Asu. You know what you did, Ikanji. You know what you did. You came out as a shit as well. You know what you did. You know what you did. Low it. Tommy, Gabriel, please don't ruin it. My centre-back's colossal performance. Chossar, it's not the time for flicks, man. Boys, no stupid stuff. you got a minute. you got a minute. Stop messing about. Please, boys, just pull it in. Arteta, two subs for no reason. Smith Rowe minutes. Kevin De Bruyne. Grealish. Oh, Partey, lovely. Declan Rice, don't be a hero. Don't, yeah, be a hero. You love the captain. Fantastic tick. I love it as well. Declan Rice has done brilliant there. Martinelli, I right, come on. Martinelli, come on. Ref, whoa. Ooh. Ref, that's got to be a free kick. He's made no intention of winning the ball. He just clattered into Martinelli there. Boys, please, man. Pep, please, man. Just relax now, relax. Bernardo Silva galloping for there's 12 seconds left. Now put that boys don't concede. That is a next level heartbreak. Lovely Odegaard, he's picked his pocket. <sighs> we're knackered, man. Look, 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 we're knackered, man. We're finished. Hey, Raya, 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 Raya. Look. <laughs> Ref, how long? Oi. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't know how we've managed to... Well, us and City, we've spoiled everybody in it. In that, what's been a weekend of just a, a serious amount of goals, a game that has goals has ended nil-nil. Our title hopes are still alive. Gabriel, Saliba. <laughs> Harlan, you know what time it is, man. My centre-backs do this. <sighs> how, have we, how have we survived that? It's not even how we survived that. It's like... I don't like what that does to the nerves, people. I don't like what that does to the nerves. We'll take it. If you can't win, don't lose, man. And I need to call the haters now. I'm so amazed at this. See, look. Hello. Yeah. I thought you said we're losing today. What, what, what's going on? Did we didn't score, but we got a point. We got a point. You didn't get a point. You don't know how to do this. Did you not even touch the ball? Clean sheet against Harlan. Did you not even touch the ball? Are you getting top four? Are you, you ahead? Are you lot ahead of Una Emre's Aston Villa? Is that your is that your is 
we have the we've got the best record against the top six, mate. Play for a draw. We got the best. We didn't play for a draw. We didn't play, play for a draw. draw. Two great teams cancelled each other out. What? Two great teams cancelled each other out. Have you ever seen Tottenham Hotspur win the Premier League title? Have you seen Tottenham Hotspur? Oh, oh! So you want us to play twenty? You want you want us to play ten thousand players up front and play a stupid high line? Our manager's not an idiot. Terrible, mate. End of the day, Fox Spurs, man. See, look, look at Pep. Pep's breading us as well. He's breading. He's breading Gabriel and that Grealish. You're not tough. Lovely. Look, hey, hey, Pep's breading. You don't get this clout. You don't get this. You don't get this. Pep's checking in. Pep knows there's a new kid on the block, boy. Look, Harlem Breddin, Harlem Breddin. You know when you're scared. Just like, just like that's it. Just like that striker today. You know what happened, didn't it? Let's not talk too tough, but you know what happened, didn't it? Breddin, you thought we was losing, didn't it? <laughs> we're winning. I don't look at the league table, but we're winning something. Like, uh, we're winning something this season. Good. Your shit, boy. You thought we was getting smacked today, didn't it? <laughs> and that's more. This is more of a case of us at our worst. This ain't nothing to do with City. We weren't good today by our own standards. No one can defeat us. I swear you said Kirio was going to get ripped. He did. He didn't get ripped. Is, did he not keep a clean sheet? I saw Doc Rick. Clean man. sheet. Oh, wow. Professional footballer got past someone. He got a clean sheet. Exactly. He got a clean sheet. Did you score, mate? At the end of the day, you support Spurs. They're shit. That's horrible. Right, look, even in your voice, you don't want to do this, really. Like, you thought we was losing. What did you say at football? What did you say? No, no. What did you say is going to happen to Arsenal at football? I told you we're not going to lose. We won. Folden came. Folden came off. He don't back the beef. Didn't back his mum. We got three. We got a point. We ain't taking L's against top six teams this year. Four points off City and Liverpool. It's different, bro. We don't do what you lot do. We are. It's different. Arsenal are taking over now. It's peak. Give us two years. It's peak. It's peak. Bayern Munich don't want this. United don't want this. Spurs don't want this. Spurs definitely don't want this. Chelsea don't want this. Look, they're breading us. Look how they're laughing with us. They're setting it up for us to win the Prem this year. Look, they're breading. Look, look, look. Harlan's breading. Pep's breading. It's different. It's different. I can't lie. It would be nice to win at the Etihad. I thought you said Kevin De Bruyne was doing something today. Who's that? Moving like Fabio Vieira. He's me. No Why do you sound so depressed? Huh? Why do you sound so depressed? Because I want to see, I want to see like goals. Fuck what you wanted to see in it. Fuck Spurs as well. <laughs> Never in doubt, man. Easy. But that don't matter, man. Oh, raw right. United fan cheering for Liverpool. That's crazy. That's crazy. Either way, we didn't lose. Zero else. I knew it was going to be a draw, but to hold City scoreless over 180 minutes is boss level defence. To be fair with you, to be brutally honest, though, like both teams didn't offer nothing in the final third, man. It's cool. But if you can't win, don't lose. And that's what we did. The, I don't look at the league table, but allegedly we're fighting for a title. It's alive. You know, I think there was a bit more courage in the second half, a bit more gambling in the second half, pressing a bit higher. I think we look like a team that's... A couple players look fitter than others. Some players probably look fatigued in terms of playing for their countries. Other players looked a bit rusty. There were some heart and mouth moments, really, just probably the basis of nerves. And ultimately, both teams cancelled each other out. But for what Arsenal have been doing this season and for the last two years, being up there for being one of the highest goal scoring teams in the Prem and definitely our last recent results this year, we didn't really bring nothing like that to the table and neither did City. You know, I have to give credit to the boys because there was times we had to dig in deep, you know. Pause. I think Sali, I think uh, to be honest with you, Sali had a great game, great game. But I think he's. It's another game where Saliba's like the golden child and Gabriel's not getting his praise, really, if I'm honest with you. Um, I think the only winners tonight or this afternoon or this evening is Liverpool. You know, they did what they did against Brighton. They've probably got the best run of all. And there's been a draw here, really and truly. But there's nothing decided. Even if we lost today, shouldn't do too much. If we won today, we shouldn't get too excited. I mean, need to get three points against Luton. I think we are getting to that period where we need to rotate players in now. So yeah, man, you got it all got it all to do, man. And it's still tight where the title is concerned. Like it's I'm happy not to win. Not to I'm definitely happy not happy not to win. I'm happy not to lose. It is a case of what if, because you never know, you know, them half chances we had, you know, Trossart's one, uh Saka's ball uh, in behind the, the half chances from Gabriel, but 
we didn't offer enough in the final third, really. So I'll take a draw. It's something to manoeuvre and work with, really and truly. The centre-backs were amazing, man. They were quality. They were quality. Kai Havertz, I feel he was our best player in the final third, like that started. You don't win titles playing for draws. No, you don't. But if you can't win, don't lose, man. And I, I did feel, I should have said it really, big up you lot banter aside. Um, I did feel it felt like a bit like the Porto game, if that makes sense. It's like we didn't really know when to stick or twist or to do too much. And there was obviously some moments you got to suffer in it. But yeah, man. Media will not give Arsenal credit. I don't think everyone should get any credit, City and Arsenal, but it's a, it's another result, isn't it? Like, it could have been better. It could have been worse, man. So we keep moving, man. I think my... I just think I've just about calmed down, really. Probably need United to do a favour. Yeah, United are going to get smoked by Liverpool next Sunday, man. Realistically, they're going to get smoked. They're going to get smoked. And we just need to be better against Brighton and Luton. Essentially. This draw feels a lot different to the Chelsea one, if I'm honest with you, or the Liverpool one, or the Spurs one. I would say the Chelsea one, easily the most frustrating, and probably the Spurs for the second half, man. Saka was too far and wide throughout the game. I think that was the game plan. I think it was a bit too narrow at times, if anything, man. Clinical finishing is needed, but what did we create today? I hear you, though. If you're on, if you're on the basis of we need a player that's got a bit of stardust about them, can just create something out of nothing and, and, and stuff like that, then fair enough. But yeah, it's something to build up on, man. It's something to build on. It's something to build on, man. It could have been better. It could have been worse. End of the day, that like, we just move with what we've got in it, really. So yeah, in relation to player ratings, let me share my screen with you and let's get some player ratings going. Uh, hmm. I think they said naturally, I mean, you're not going to overly praise the attackers. But... If we look at the lineup from an Arsenal perspective, Raya, humble seven. You know, I don't, I think you did everything you need to do. Benjamin White, I'll give a seven. Nah, you know what? I'll give Benjamin White an eight, man. I think from the start, you was one of the players I was more kind of cool with. Saliba and Gabriel Nines, if I'm honest, they were, you know, I'd only mark Saliba down because you looked a bit nervous with your passing and Raya to a degree at the beginning. Gabriel, I think he was immense. I think, it should have been joint man of the match on Sky Sports for Saliba and Gabriel, if I'm honest with you. I'll give them both nines. I think while it was a low-key affair, I think it's no easy task keeping Haaland quiet. So it's another game against another quality attacker that my two centre-backs have left with some clout. Kirio, six, humble. You, you know, you, your, your reputation weren't damaged. Odegaard, seven. Jorginho, six. Rice, six. Nah, nah, I'm capping. Nah, I'm capping. High sixes for Odegaard, Rice and Jorginho. I don't think anyone was amazing. I don't think anyone was terrible. I think Odegaard had some flashes of brilliance. Gabriel Jesus, I'll give him a six. I think some of you are going OTT. Yes, he is frustrating. Kai Havertz, I'll give him a seven. And I'm giving him, a, I'm having a bit of a luxury for him because I think he did the ugly work and I don't think he really had anything to really work with Saka. Just about a five. I'll give you the minimum. You weren't terrible. You weren't amazing. You was a bystander and you was quite terrible defensively at times, if I'm honest. And it did look like you had a knock. Martinelli, five based on your impact part. A humble five. Tommy, humble five. Trossard, seven, actually. I thought you brought something. Should have scored, but yeah. And yeah, where Ramsdale, Smith, Rowe, and Ketia, Fabio, and Zinchenko are concerned, it's a myth. To be brutally honest, I can't wait to watch the game again without any emotions. Havertz did what he needed to do. We've only we have only dropped four points in total from the two title rivals. Makes the Fulham, Chelsea, and Spurs games even more annoying. Yeah, Liverpool are the only winners. Only nearly elite players, I'll say, is Odegaard. By the way, four points off Liverpool and City drop points to Fulham, Spurs, Villa, West Ham, costing the title. Kirio was a weak link, didn't offer much in passing. Careful, big up Jess from Shido's Arsenal, but she told me Kirio's passing is amazing. Man. And I've, I think Kirio did all right today, man. Yeah, you got ripped, but I don't think you left that game with any with your reputation harmed, really. But yeah, and I think Arteta took him off at the right time when they did the docu thing. But yeah, I think Saliba, Gabriel, Ben White, my defenders stood tall, man. When it mattered, my defenders stood tall. So I can't really complain about that. Would have loved to have, to be honest with you, would have loved to have seen some saves, man, but it weren't to be. And we sure we can hold it up under the cosh. And it was a sobering reminder that we can't always, always have it our way because for the vast majority of the recent games, we've had a bunch of possession goals, etc. 
we had to suffer. We're not getting smoked by Liverpool. Hey, man, to be honest, Liverpool, man, you know who cares, man? Jesus failed to rise on Easter Sunday for Arsenal. It was an ugly team performance, man, but I'm not complaining. We had the better chances. Probably, but then I've... <laughs> Would you say we had a better chance than Ake's clear-cut header kind of thing? I'm not sure. Do you think we can be more positive today than the 2-2 two -two draw at Anfield last year? Looked a lot worse last year. Well, yeah, because we, you know, we showed the good, bad and ugly at Anfield. Get Saliba and Gabriel had Haaland in hell. We still, however, still need... So we, however, still a notch below the best of the best. Need a clinical striker. It's true, but on top of that, we probably need our players that have the individual qualities to create something clear-cut out of nothing. Bringing on Trossard was pointless. I would have kept on Jesus. Bit harsh. Bit harsh. It was a poor game. Like, for all the quality and the fireworks and the neutrals won an entertaining game, there were nothing. To be fair, I know everyone's quick to get at referees, but I think the ref had a fairly decent game with letting things flow. Of course, he made a number of errors. But, yeah, man, we showed we can suffer. We showed we can, you know, kind of... If you you know if you can't win, don't lose. There's a somewhat ceiling because we weren't at our best. We we're very far from our best, and there's there might even be some frustrating frustrations. And you could say this with City, but we're walking away with something. On other occasions, if we played like how we played today, again, not saying we're terrible, we don't walk away with anything. But I say the biggest disappointment for me is that when we did create half chances, we didn't take them, and really, we you know there's nothing to cry about in the final third, really. But defense the tool, man. Somewhat toe to toe. I think even Pep, like, even I don't think Pep will be happy with his team in the final third either. Like, everyone was drawing blanks in that regards, really. Like, what at half time, how many shots were there? Like, what they we had four shots, they had three. Both teams had one on target, but and both teams had two corners, so they were quote unquote competitive. Where the biggest error was, was obviously they had 347 passes to 134, so we had to kind of live dangerously. And I did think when we had the ball, we was quite, quite careless with it. I think we was forcing certain passes, but we live to fight another day. And this is actually the first time, allegedly, Man City have failed to score in a Premier League game at the Etihad Stadium for the first time since losing 2-0 in October of 2021. We've kept a clean sheet in both our league games with City this season, making us just the full side to shout out our Pep Guardiola side in two league matches in the same season. Uh, this match saw just three shots on target. One of just... One of just three games to see three or fewer in the Premier League this season, which also includes the reverse meeting. So again, what we've come to expect of Pep Guardiola's Manchester City and Arsenal kind of cancel each other out. Again, the biggest golfing class is the possession. Now, you know, based on possession, that does correlate to win to, to scoring goals and whatnot. But for them to have Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne, or Jack Grealish to come off the field, Harlan, and they've been They've not brought nothing to the table in that regards. I'll take that. I'll live with that. I'll manoeuvre with that for another day if I'm completely honest, man. So, yeah. It's nice to say, for me anyways, that we're just looking internally of what we could have done better ra rather than, you know, us being poor and things like that. So, yeah, man. This draw can't be scorned upon. This was a good result in our invincible away season at Old Trafford. I mean, it'd be nice to win at Old Trafford, though, if I'm honest with you. And again, if I'm being cynical, I know the context isn't key, but for a team that wants to win a Premier League title, I'm forcing it, but didn't win at didn't didn't win at um Newcastle's place, didn't win at Anfield again. A1 at the Etihad hadn't ended that who do now. I'm just being devil's advocate. These are the things we need to work towards, if I'm honest with you. Why didn't Trossard just cross the ball to Martinelli? I'm sure if you asked him, you know, he would have done something different, but it is what it is. Who is your man of the match? Gabriel Saliba, man. Gabriel Saliba, Benjamin White. I'll give it to Gabriel and Saliba because respectfully to Saliba, he deserves it. He done very well today. Stood up too. I just think when you have performances like this, like obviously we've kept Haaland quiet again, 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 because we've done it three times. It's easy to praise Saliba. Not even that I'm saying anything's wrong with that, but I think Gabriel is the story. Like you watch that game again, they're getting into it. So I think them two stood up tall. Not that Benjamin White was tested like that, but you was one of the first from minute zero that I thought, okay, you're 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 somewhat with it. Um, I think Odegaard did okay, but could play a lot better. I think Rice did what he could, could play a lot better. I think Jorginho slipped under the radar, did well. I don't think anyone was terrible today. Like I personally don't even understand the Jesus slander to a degree. I wouldn't, I don't think Jorginho hid. 
I don't think Jorginho hit, but I do think this game showed evident limitations potentially around the squad and areas that we need to probably assess in the market, man. We live to fight another day, man. We live to fight another day. Clearly, Tommy Asu and um, Partey haven't got 90 minutes in them, so you wasn't going to see them people. So it is what it is. I'm actually trying to pattern up a, a fan show. Wait, wait. Oh, it's Easter Sunday. We might have to go again tomorrow. I might have to load that up for tomorrow for you, lot, you know. Let me actually say mm, tomorrow thing. Sorry, folks. Too many guys are pulling out. Pause. Hey, load. <laughs> that was crazy. That's crazy. Craziest thing. Boy. But yeah, man, what have you lot made of the game? And what do you think this means? I do think we showed character. I do think we showed character. Disappointed with the tactics. Mm. Mm, I hear it. I, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed with our tactics today. I just think the team. I don't. I don't think. I don't know the word. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say there wasn't belief, but it. It looked like. It looked like we was a bit unsure at times. We didn't know whether to commit to pressing. We didn't know whether to like we was. We was kind of in that kind of half zone. And in the second half, there was a bit more confidence in that regard. I think the first half, the passing was, we, if I had to criticise us, I think we weren't retaining the ball well enough, if I'm really honest with you. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Come on, man. I'm talking about football. You're like, this is crazy. That happened to me at actual football today. This is, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Saliba, man. Listen, I'm happy that, listen, when last did we have, could we even go into a City game with confidence that regardless, Gabriel and Saliba are going to stand up to be counted? And obviously, once the game's finished, debating if they're man, men or man of the match against some of the, one of the most lethal teams in Europe or some of the most lethal players. And to be honest, every everyone did their shift defensively. Like, I didn't, I said it at the time, like, you look, this is why I like being live with you. Look, you look, could see what I said. I said, this is not going to be a pretty watch. And we didn't, but we got a point. We live to fight, man. We can't win them all. But it does, you know, a point against City is good, but it, you do think about what ifs and you can't go back in time. But it does make me personally think about the two games against Fulham. Uh, yeah, the two games against Fulham, West Ham at home, Aston Villa away, Newcastle away. Uh, what else is there? Do, do you get it? Them kind of games there. Chelsea and Spurs, because we shot ourselves in the foot. More so in the Spurs game, because as much as I don't want to praise Chelsea, it's not even really fair to say we shot ourselves in the foot, because I think they started well. We was terrible for about 60 minutes. Until Rice did that crazy goal, we was horrible, man. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne, a ripping player, should happen, in it? But yeah, I was a bit angry that he got outpaced there. Doku probably should have scored. I mean, there's probably quote-unquote regrets for both sets of players. I don't know if it's... A, as I said, I don't know if it's a thing where... Some players have been flying around for their countries and playing, so there's a bit of fatigue. And some players have been playing week in, week out. They stop playing, there's a bit of rustiness. Because I do think, even as much as it's going to be about us, obviously I'm an Arsenal fan, I don't really care about Man City. Man City looked a bit rusty in stages, really. Really and truly, they did look a bit rusty. They did look a bit rusty. They didn't really look like they're fit and firing in that regard. So I guess that, that could be said collectively for both players, both sets of teams. So, yeah, man, I'm here for it. And I'm happy that we spoiled rivals' days, man. You know, there was Man United fans that thought they was going to laugh. Chelsea fans that thought they were going to laugh. Spurs fans that thought they were going to laugh. They might get to laugh at some point this season. Liverpool as well. But Spurs shouldn't be laughing at anyone. I'll accept verbal from all the other clubs mentioned because they've actually won and done stuff. But the rest, ugh, it's nice. We live to fight another day. But it just makes every point counts. It just means that every point counts now because... I do expect to see some rotation to a degree against Luton. I don't know if, maybe had we have won, but I don't know if this is an opportunity to, and I know you don't hear it, but based on the lack of football, is there an opportunity to start Jesus, start playing Jesus a bit more for Tommy, Yasu and Partey to get starts, which have been rare this season. Maybe even Zinchenko as well have to start rotating, but we live with this. Oh, wow, man. Bro. Imagine Saka's... Do you know what? Kanji's done well against Jesus there, but is it just me or even that Jesus chance in the 52nd minute? Surely someone else should be darting across there, people. Surely someone else should be darting across there.
surely boring game of the weekend. It probably was, man. But to be fair, we've been spoiled, football fans. I also believe that we should have taken advantage of the second string back line of City. It's true, but the second string is still bloody good, man. Liverpool are the winners of the weekend, without a doubt. Hella tough fixtures, but this is where he wanted to be. Backline did their thing, but everyone else pretty much showed too much respect, especially in midfield. I think this is where we show our limitations in midfield. I don't think any of our midfielders were terrible, but there's evident limitations. It's games like this, you would love a press resistance. Not that we, they were pressed relentlessly, but you would love a, a, num a number eight with a bit of swagger with them. They weren't meant to go cross up, man. But this is why when we score goals, you know, we still need a striker because when you need to be clinical, it's like, ah, mixed emotions with this one. Nothing to be upset about. And we still have the league and champs to go for. We could have won today, though. Four points off this city is, off City this season's come. Bro, four points off City and Liverpool. That's commendable, bro. That's just, shh, away from home. At the Etihad and Anfield, let alone the Emirates, because the Emirates under Arteta has changed a bit. It is commendable. But that's what I mean. Like to, to chase the illusion of perfection, it's about getting these results. Luton, we definitely have to win. Look, even Arteta's reaction to that miss with Trossard, he's like, you can't believe it. Odegaard gave, I think Odegaard's final ball today was hit and miss, you know. But I think he stood up, man. I, I, this is why I don't agree with the comments. Of course, everyone has bad games. But when people are quick to say, Odegaard, don't turn up away from home, he's not on it in the big games. Kai was by himself, man. I think Kai did what he could. We didn't have enough up top because we were too cautious. My nerves are shot as per... I mean, I can calm down now. I'm part of his biggest fan, but he doesn't look right. Hope to see better when fully fit. Even Tommy. I think Tommy had a good cameo off the bench. But you look like someone... You look like people that haven't played forever. And it's nice to see, you know, going into this, there was all the talk about Gabriel being... Big Gabriel being involved, not being involved. Didn't look injured at any point. You know, you're seeing Ben White with knees strapping. Trossard's got some stuff on his hand. Saka, we heard the rumours in relation to England. And he looked like... I'm, I'm quite nervous around Saka, if I'm honest with you. He needs to come off anyways, but evidently looked hurt. Martinelli was able to play some capacity. So, and at the end of the day, still more minutes in the tank, I guess, for the Thomas Partey's and, and the people on the peripheral. Well, just Thomas, Tommy Asu and Thomas Partey. So, yeah, Saka didn't do that today. That's the useless internet. And, and and again, regardless of if it was a win, draw or defeat, if that game was played before the international break, like the last game, I think there's goals in that. But for whatever reason, it wasn't. You know, there's probably some fans that are there that paid to see goals. Obviously, it's crazy. That's one of my pet peeves, actually. You see, when you go to a game live and it's nil-nil, it feels like you've been robbed. Like it, feel, it really does feel like you've been robbed. There was an element of too much respect. That's why I'm saying, for me, it kind of felt a bit like the Porto's different, but just it just looks like we're unsure whether to stick or twist. Smelly game. Naturally, it's going to be a smelly game. But just got to get on with it. Luton and Brighton now. So I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. I'm not even frustrated. It's just a thing where I'm sitting there. I'm like, what if, what if these half chances, what if we created more? What if we pressed together a bit more? What if we gambled a bit more? But then again, I, I wouldn't say, well, we did have a cautious approach, but I like it because it worked. It ended up with Kevin De Bruyne and Harlan really being shut up. Like the most moment I was ever scared in that game was Ake not scoring that header. If I'm saying that with all their quality players, Bernardo, Doku looked a bit frightening off the bench, then whatever we've done, it's worked, isn't it? And I do like collectively our team's attitude to wanting to do those ugly things in that game because that's helped us get into this position we want. And it's lovely to see, you know, again, our defenders do what they can because they saved us. Yeah, of course, you can't be satisfied. Happy Easter to everyone else tuned in. It was a game of not making a mistake. DG, we played against the best team in the world in their grounds. Please appreciate the guys, motivate them. Whatever I said, that was it. I mean, they don't listen to me to be motivating them. That's, it's not Disney Channel. Um, we do, we did play against them and hung with them, but I haven't said anything overly critical or, or whatever. So maybe you're speaking in general, but I wouldn't say I did anything. I think Odegaard's standards dropped. Appreciate that, Alvin. So, yeah, man, I do think there was... You're right, though. You're right. And as the game went on, let's be honest, City gambled, were gambling a bit more. But I almost like that, that we said, you know what? We can't win this, boys. Let's just get 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 it done, really. Like, 
I'd say the major positive for me, clean sheet. And if you can't win, don't lose. And to see our, our defenders stand up to, and uh, while it's another year that we're going without winning at the Etihad, at, um, at Anfield and other grounds, and we've got some difficult grounds to come to, it's shown that we can deal to a degree with high pressure environments and get something out of it. But it is what it is in that regards, man. It is what it is. We made City look ordinary. I think both teams made themselves look ordinary. But yeah, that's been the theme. Like you look at definitely the last game I would say off the top of my head that was quote unquote exciting was probably City versus Arsenal last season at the Etihad because you had holding and he was struggling with the high line crap, really. You know, the game where the game it was it was more enjoyable than this, but the game where Tommy Asu made that mistake, that was in a that was a lot closer. You know, the game even I swear, Rodri, there was one year Rodri scored at the death. I think Saka scored and we took the lead. That was a lot closer. Um, the, you know, it was quite boring at the Emirates, really. Obviously, I'm happy we won, but it was a boring game across 90 minutes. Wembley was Wembley was more entertaining than this, but it was a lot more boring across 90 minutes. That's become a theme of Arsenal against Liverpool, um, Arsenal against City. And obviously, a lot of it is because of what Arteta individually wants to do on the football pitch. And likewise with Pep Guardiola. But then they know each other. A lot of it is focused around Arteta knowing Pep because he worked with him and not to compare him to a devil, but it was like the devil from within. Like it's like you've gone from being quote unquote best friends and he knows what you want to do. He knows you. He knows how you look at football and Pep the same. So, yeah, man, to sit here. Obviously, and I think the biggest thing is that we want, we want more in it. There was, a, there was a time we'd be smiling to just have a point against City. So to take four points off Man City and Liverpool, it is what it is, and it goes back to what I said at the start. I don't think Arsenal are the best team in the world. I'm not saying we're the best ever, but when we don't play well or we demand better, it's it's not been necessarily because of the other team. Today, it's a thing where we're looking internally, and the same said for Chelsea, for Spurs, and many others. So, we're on the right trajectory. Like, we're moving along, but it's just going to make every other game more technical, isn't it, really? So, yeah, man. I'm 38. I've seen us do... This in the championship winning seasons, this will win the league. Bro, you can't win them all, man. And this is how you perform at away grounds, man. That's how I, I, I'm cool with it. We'll win the league. I hope so, man. I'm not going to lie. Last 10 minutes, I thought, oh, heartbreak FC. We either are going to rob them or we're going to be robbed. With, you know, these kind of things happen. So, yeah, man. To be fair, though, he, Raya does play it to the left, but unpopular opinion, I, I, I either think Mikel Arteta tells Gabriel to do it, but or I think Saliba can pass. Saliba's gracious on the ball. But I think Gabriel's on more of that, a lot more, if that makes sense, consistently over 90 minutes. Either way, the game plan worked, in it? But it is in these kind of games, you, you, would, you do sit there and think, what if we had a player with a bit more individual brilliance? What if we had a striker that could just make their own chance and be a bit clinical? How many draws could we turn into Ws? How many defeats turn into draws? Ultimately, more points on the board. So I'm you got to be grateful, in it. The weekend's not been spoiled. Spoiled. It would have been nice to win, but it just wasn't that case, in it. People, obviously, in relation to match reactions and tactical analysis, you're going to get your videos. Uh, big up Alex at a different knock. If he doesn't flop, then we should be doing a show tomorrow. And I'm going to try and get some Arsenal fans to do a show tomorrow evening and we'll talk about the City game again. We're back now. Before we know it, we've got loot in midweek. So, yeah, man, we live to fight another day. As usual, appreciative to you lot tuned back in. Appreciative to you lot across Twitch and YouTube. How many likes did we end up with? 354. That's crazy. Appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, you'll smash the like button. Make sure you're doing such. Turn on your notification bells. And, yeah, I'll see you lot later. Speaking of players with individual brilliance, I don't know. I could have done this at the Etihad. <laughs> Yeah, I guess this right back to our left. Oh,